But now we're live. And I'm on. So I gave them the full countdown experience. Am I on? No. Okay. Yes, you're live right now. <laughs> now I'm live. <laughs> Welcome back to Mic'd Up. Lloyd is really messing me up. He's not being a good producer today. Ah! I am your host, Mikey. I'm here. Unfortunately and fortunately, I am here. Uh, I'm going to ride out this free agency thing with y'all. Y'all have a behind the scenes look. I'm going to be super transparent. It has been an emotional roller coaster for the last four days. Uh, some good phone calls, some bad phone calls. Obviously, not great phone calls. I'm here, still still thriving, still used, doing mic'd up live in studio, which is okay. I'd much rather be here than not. Uh, if, this, if this is my backup plan, then I'm okay with it. Today is Monday. What is today? 14th. March, March 14th. Pi day. It is, it is Pi Day. Oh. It is Pi what? 314. Yeah, March 14th, Never. Monday. Name the next number. I don't know. Don't, One. Don't five. five. We're not doing that. <laughs> we are brought to you by <laughs> Sterling Automotive. Like I said, we are mic'd up. We got a huge show today. MLB Free Agency is in a frenzy. Guys are signing left and right. I think there's a lot of big guys that they thought we were going to sign, haven't signed. We're going to talk a little bit about that, get into what the Yankees are doing, get into what the Twins are doing, get into what the Nationals are doing. Um, I guess the big story, what everybody around here is worried about, is the general is out, boys. Mm. And it's been, it was, uh, they've been tickling, they've been tickling us a little bit for the last four years. They were teasing us, not teasing us, nothing's going to happen, maybe something's going to happen. Something happened, and now he is gone. And we're going to get into that because, boy, he was sloppy mm-hmm. <laughs> with some of this stuff. Kind of hard to And I'm it. not saying... Uh, there's not. I'm not saying that he's doing stuff that other coaches aren't doing. I'm just saying he wasn't doing it as sneakily as they were, or as um, professional. Professional. That's what hurts doing. the most. I'm not yeah. mad. I'm disappointed. As yeah, that was the worst thing when your mom said that to you. When you're, you know, I'm not mad yeah. at you. Disappointed. You're just disappointed. If you're gonna do it, do it the right way. Yeah. Cheat better. He LSU baseball cheating, got back on track. LSU baseball boys were looking hot this weekend. They were swinging it. Pitching staff. Was nails, even with Blake Money going down early on Friday. Thankfully, that is not a serious injury. It was a little risk. When I saw it, I thought, I know Jay Mitch thought the same thing. I thought it was UCL. Yeah, it didn't look I, good. He threw it, didn't pick the ball up, and didn't want another. Didn't want to throw another pitch. I'm like, this is not good. He didn't even want to hang his arm no. correctly. No, like, that's, not that's good. It, that's yeah. when it doesn't look good. Not good. Why is my – Siri always talks to me on my phone. I don't like it. I'm not even pressing it. It's weird. Technology is really – Scary sometimes. Just yep. Just picks them up. Wait, without even talking? Like I didn't talk. It just started. The thing just started spinning. And she's like, listening to what I'm saying. Uh, what we got on there? They're spying. I don't That's know. That's what happened to Will Wade. Yeah. <laughs> FBI. Know. FBI. We're going to get into that. We're gonna get Do into you that. have an accent on your phone for Siri or anything? An Spanish? accent? Yeah. You can make it like. Like Brit- make her British? Mm-hmm. Australian is no. a good one. Which I don't one? really talk to Siri. She's kind of. Uh, she's a. Uh, I neglect her on my phone. Oh, man. So she's trying to yeah. get back in good graces. She is. She's trying. She's always there, but just, I'm, I neglect her Come for sure. What was that again? Come again? What was you that? think Siri's hot? Like, <laughs> no, but I know you can get, like, different voices. I mean, not a man. I'm asking, like, really? that person that's Yeah, I don't like being told what to do. Speaking of different voices, you think... Uh, <laughs> I'd rather be a buddy. You think Giselle's voice was heard whenever Tom's back? Because Tom came back. You think Giselle told him to come back? Or you think Giselle was... You think that was purely Tom's decision? You think Giselle was like, hey... You're not you're not very happy at home right now. You should go home or like, hey, you need to get out of here because you're aggravating me or something. You know, I I think we talked about it in here. We didn't think that Tom was done. Tom's obviously not done. And maybe Adam Schefter screwed him. Maybe Adam I made him Adam maybe Adam Schefter screwed the entire NFL by dropping the thing early and not letting Tom do what he wanted to, when he wanted to do it, how he wanted to do it. Now Tom's coming back because he's like, I have unfinished business. I think his unfinished business is. I didn't get to go out the way I wanted to go out because Adam Schefter had to come out behind the scenes and drop some news that I didn't want to be dropped at that time. But whatever the cause may be, or whatever reason may be, Tom is back. Saints are looking into Deshaun Watson. They have a meeting in the next I'm two all days. About it. Let's all go. about it. I'm now all that, over that train. now that Deshaun Watson is his legal battles are over with and he is back to playing football. Let me have him. Put him on the team. I'm let all him over that go. Train. Let him go. Give just, him to us. Let's just find some different. Him. Let's just get some better uh, massage therapists. Let's get him on board. What's going on? Okay. <laughs> when, when Jay Mitch was kind of on top of this, he was like, "22 people just seems like a lot." 
A lot. For, for, for what he was doing, it seems like people were piling on a little bit as to what they were. So that makes you seem Without like a doubt. either all of them are true or none Without of these are true. Without a doubt. Without I'm going to just say it this way. I've been around some very, very... Attractive women. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Jesus, Lloyd. Lloyd's head goes in a different direction what? all the time. It's okay. It's okay. We see, line, Lloyd, unbelievable. We, say, we see where you're going. I've been around some very, very, very not smart people. <laughs> Right. I've been around some very, very, very smart people. 22 is very dumb. And it's just hard for me to believe that the general of a team is that dumb. There's just no way. No. So that's you. just where I'm at. With I'm with you. 100%. And, and you can't be that successful in the NFL and no. have nothing, on nothing, no red flags coming go, into the NFL. And then I, that all say, of a sudden just comes at, out of nowhere. Go look at like the... I'm with you. Go look at like the... Um, Quotes from like Dabo Sweeney about yeah. Deshaun Watson, Watson, Watson as a person. Yeah. Now look, once Michael again, if this, was, if this was if this was Michael Jordan of college football. Well, also say like he's like the best like dude he's ever been around. Once again, if they would have said like one to two to three, like all right, you could fool some people and probably do it. Twenty two. Twenty two. Come on, man. Uh, I mean, I'm no. off that one. Uh, off, off that. That's yeah. almost a full month. That's Robert yeah. Kraft territory. <laughs> it is. Come on now. Just a lot of massages. That. A lot of, that mean, how sore can you get? A lot of massages. He could be a Patriot. A lot of massages. <laughs> just, he might get traded to the Patriots. <laughs> hey, <laughs> have you ever seen the gold card for the massage parlor? Robert Kraft. Well, how do you Why do you know think his color's so card? white? How do you know there's a gold card for it? For the, that just for Kraft said. Lewis going into some of these spots. I'm back. I'm back. Hey, Mr. Corby, how are you? Have a seat. Let me eat anything. Did you, some did, water? Did you park you out back in the same spot? Yeah, yeah. He <laughs> yeah. parks right in the back, goes in the back doors. All things considered. Rush hour if, if was uh, Yeah, if it was legal, that seems like an excellent experience. <laughs> no, you've never had that experience. I've never had that experience. Well, you, no, I've no, 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 never had that experience. Oh, oh my God. A lot of people yeah. had that experience. Yeah. So I said, you want to show us a special? <laughs> a lot of people Crap. had that experience. I've never had that experience. Have you ever had uh, March Mad- it is March Madness. It is here. We've been we've what a been, pivot. We've been anticipating it. We've been talking about it. It is here. We actually have a bracket challenge, right? We have the link. We're gonna put it on all of our, you know, my show, my Twitter, Jordy Collada, the Jordy Collada show, Twitter, FM Digital. It's an FM Digital bracket challenge. It's for both shows. We're all gonna be involved in it. It's free to join. We're gonna have gift baskets. Winner hangs out with Lloyd. The, win, the, the winner is the hang out Lord, which, yeah. hey, you know what, that is an excuse. You probably should get like a, a camera and, and video of this and vlog. <laughs> winner gets to hang out with Lloyd. Uh, I've vlogged my whole life. You saw me over the weekend. The lot, showered the, with my clothes The Lloyd Courtney experience. But <laughs> we're going to have, we have bags, we have mic'd up gear, we have Jordy Collada gear, we have, you know, other stuff that we're going to put in there for the winners. We are also, and I was talking to the boys today in the mic, for the mic'd up show, I want to do a spread challenge. Which I love. So I'm, I'm not in spring training right now. I'm here. So I'm treating this as my clubhouse in spring training. And when spring, when March Madness hits in spring training, your boy is throwing money down. I'm on bracket challenges. I'm on spread challenges. I'm picking teams to win. I'm doing all these things in the locker room as for team camaraderie. And mm-hmm. I'm going to bring that here. And that's what I want. And spread challenge is my favorite because you get the 16 seed. Who gets who covers the spread on the one seed? And now you get to absorb the one seed, and now you're in a good Oof. good spot. So we're gonna explain some of the rules, but we're gonna keep pushing. That. I think that would be uh, a really cool addition. Sixty four teams, sixty four people need to join into this thing. If we get more than that, and we get double that, we'll have two of them. But sixty four people need to come in there. Sixty eight. No, it's six. We're gonna, I'm waiting until 64. You do okay. 64. You don't get the play. Fuck the games. plans. No, if we yeah. can't get 64, <laughs> games are out. if we can't get 64, you can buy two. You can buy no multiple respect. teams. You can put multiple teams in. We're not. I'm not saying buy. You can have two up to two teams. We'll give each guy up to two. I, normally, you put money in. I don't know if we're gonna. Do, we're, we're not gonna do money. <laughs> What are you doing? I busted the sleeves on this thing. Look, look. <laughs> that a boy. The same see, thing. At 45? The same thing he up. does in the parlor mirrors right there. <laughs> That's it. Bust. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, crazy. Let's, let's, get, let's, get, let's, get to, let's get to the meat and potatoes of this show. All right, oh, let's, start, let's start with, first of all, let's start with LSU baseball from the weekend. <laughs> we talked a lot about, a lot last week about what we wanted to see differently from the team. What we wanted to see them do to give us some confidence going into, not really just us, give themselves some confidence going into SC play. 
We wanted to see them have a little bit more consistent at bats. We wanted to see them play a little bit more consistently on defense. And we wanted to see other starting pitchers step up. Because the bullpen has been solid. We want to see other starting pitchers step up. And I feel like they did all of those things this weekend. They didn't play perfect. They didn't play completely clean games defensively throughout the weekend. They had an error a game, but I'm okay with that. The errors weren't detrimental. It was only one for the game. And in college, in college sports, like you can get away with having an error, one error, right? And that's a great way to, we weren't, we, when we talked about it, we weren't, you're not going to fix it all in it one weekend. It's a, it's a process. It's a, you have to, it's a, it's a, it takes time and confidence takes time. Well, they went through the weekend and they, they raked. They, I know Bethune Cookman, Bethune Cookman is not great, but you still got to go out there and you still got to play and you got to take the teams. You got to take the, the, the schedule that you have and the teams that you're playing against and you have to go out and perform like you're supposed to perform, and that's what they did. They went out on Friday. Blake Money was shoving, came out early, down 6-2. They make the comeback. Jack Merrifield comes up with a big hit in the bottom of the seventh inning. They win the game 8-7. They close mm-hmm. it out. Huge game. Huge win. I don't care who you're playing. Anytime you win that first game of the series, especially in that way, that is huge. Huge confidence builder. Then you go out the next day. Ty Floyd's on the bump, and he is absolutely shoving. Eight Ks. Six innings, eight strikeouts. I don't know how many hits he gave up, but it wasn't many. And then you put in Razzleman. He comes in for three innings, seven strikeouts. So you get two guys that struck out 15 guys combined, saves the bullpen, saves with especially with Blake Money going down early on Friday. Your bullpen, you didn't want your bullpen to get complete depleted. That was an enormous, enormous second game. By the boys, he's awesome in the pen. Rosman? I love Rosman. Yeah, he's great. He is. Uh, have y'all seen? Uh, have y'all seen uh, Angels in the Outfield? Oh, absolutely. He comes set, set, sets again, sets again. Sets sets again. A third time. That's Rosman. <laughs> you ever watch Rosman? He comes in, he goes sets, sets, and pumps Ched. That's sets again, game. and throws a hundred, and then gets him. How do you feel about that? Does that, I don't does that fuck with the timer at all? Well, no. not when you set. Only, it only fucks with Clay you. When you start like slide stepping and if changing, he ever, like, if you're I up say, and if you ever put that in where there's like no one on and it's like maybe one set or set three times in a slide step, set three times in a big lift, then he can really kind of get you. Other yeah, than that, like, if there's runners but on, but if he's gonna set, if he's gonna set three he's gotta times come top anyway, every time like, yeah. and then go home to you, like that's. The only time it gets kind of annoying is like when it's when he's throwing in between innings. It's like, bro, just get your eight in. Like, stop <laughs> setting eight times. But you know, whatever. whatever. Does that become? Um, does that just become like it's something he doesn't even want to do, but it makes him comfortable, and he's like, yeah, I so, guess. somehow I've settled on this number to where like I'll be right, honest, I've never all, really all, asked pitchers about that. Comfortable. It's all it's all just being comfortable, like just getting in your like how does it, you can set seven times. I mean, he's doing it for a reason. The chair, that was good. And yeah, he's that, definitely yeah, doing it for a reason. I just I've never really asked people about that. Team. Comfort Spinning. thing, probably. Spinning. Um, what did well, you say? What? I said I've never really asked. I mean, he's obviously doing it for a reason. It's not just a. Let me it's like a. Say. He probably wants to. It's probably a feel. No, no, it's a feel balance, thing. You know? so like he probably wants to set so he could feel like he's like grounded in his back hip, so he can almost like loading up. Cause like as a reliever, you know That's now now if he's setting with someone on base like that, and he's set and he, it's hard for him to go like. The guy's gonna, it's, it's gonna be hard to control a running game, but that's that's the he doesn't do it as LSU has no interest in defense anyway, so it doesn't matter. Come on, come on, easy over there, okay? Negative, Nancy. All right. <laughs> I was, I was built on the fundamentals. They played better defensively this weekend. It's just shocking how quickly it happened. It's just it was a confidence thing. It was a it was just was it one the of turf. Those, no, it wasn't just a turf. They because they play they made errors outside of the turf. You know what I'm saying is that what started this whole thing was like, oh god, we've heard Jimmy Johnson and like then the wet hear, turf. Then you hear wet turf. Then you start hearing people talk about it. Then you start thinking more about it. I gotta be perfect. Mm-hmm. And you try to be perfect, and it's just it's hard. Baseball is a hard game. It's a mental game, and it's gonna take time for them to build. Hey, you know what? Uh, Jordan Thompson made a nasty play at shortstop and makes the throw over the first like. We're fine. You just take some. It just. It just. That's just the way it goes, right? Playing it back at home, they got their feet back underneath them. I have no worries about what's going to happen. Like they're going to continue to improve. They're going to continue to get better. And if they keep swinging the bat like they swung it, and Mikel Higgy threw was nails on Sunday. So if those, if you can get Ty Floyd to throw like that, he's been throwing a two seven. That's his ERA in the year. Yeah. Who? Ty Floyd. Yeah. Right. Ty Floyd's dealing. Blake Money's not seriously hurt, so he'll be back as your Friday guy. So now you have two guys that have been pretty solid 
as your number one and number two guys. If Mikel Huey can do what he did on Sunday, you're, pretty, we have, you're we in have a pretty a good table? spot. We got a timetable of money yet? Day to day. They said it was day to day. Just wrapped they said it. Was, they said they wrapped it. Throws Friday. Yep. What? Day to day is the kid Belisso still day to day. <laughs> they said it, they said it was a risk had a tough serious. weekend. Bro. I mean, Lloyd's Lloyd. Good night. Jeez, I mean, <laughs> taking an under on everything. Bro, bro. Hey, I said my my saying is bring your personality today, and Lloyd's personality is negative. Toxic today. Ne- you're toxic a table. toxic table by yourself. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Nobody's Somebody on that table card. next to you. Somebody must have stole his gold card. It's Will Wade. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, Will a, it's a Will Wade. It's a Will Wade hangover, I think. But it is some of that. But no, what I will say is for LSU baseball, was that not the perfect weekend that they needed to just. Fucking start hitting bangers off the wall. Start playing the offense. Tell you, look at that, home before SEC. That play. Friday game. That Friday. That's game. That's one that makes me nervous. No, that doesn't make me nervous. The fact that they were able to come back and win that game. That's a jump start game. Mm-hmm. That's a game that you come through and you win. And Jack Mirfield, a new guy on the team, comes up with a big knock. That just says, you know what? We can fucking do this. Like we can. Doesn't matter. What's going on? It doesn't matter that our ace went down early. It doesn't matter that we have all this noise. Like, hey, bro, we can do this. Just got to go out there and play. So they win that game. The next game's 5-1. to one. Normal game. They didn't really, like, crush them. But they dominated on the mound. They won 5-1. to one. And then on Sunday, they went 15 spot. They're they crushing. put up 15 spot in the five innings. I stopped watching. It was so bad. I was so, to watch this. It was 7 to nothing. So they, like, they, they already knew they could hit. It was I mean, you go them, look at the – I mean, the numbers, like, what – no, so we talking about like how like how wide that game was on Sunday. I, oh, I was, dude, oh hey, but as a player, that game sucks. I mean, it's great, but then you get to the fifth inning and you're at fifteen. Like, all right, let's just go. Home. Yawn first, yeah. It's time. It's time. I mean, I, I started yawning in the second. So yeah, it's time to go home. Like, <laughs> hey, I have four at bats through five innings and I got four hits. I'm ready to go home. What do you? Uh, work. Yeah, let's go home. Is there something you could do about it? Either you can't be like, hey boys, go up there. No, because, first you, pitch because, then, because then you don't want to give your way your at bats. So right. Like, uh, <laughs> like, it's all numbers, but it's like, nah, I'm checked out. Yeah. You got guys throwing breaking balls. Hang that on. The home run that Gio, Gio hit out. This guy threw a curveball. looked like a batting practice fastball. It didn't do anything. I mean, when I say that thing was rolling, I don't know. What else. And look, you still got to hit it. I'm pumped for Gio. I think that was a, a, Gio was a great swing. It was and zero great. snap. It wasn't like, even a snap. It was like he just took the ball and goes. This guy throws a breaking ball, and it just, just trickles into the back. Soft toss. Right into the loop. It had breaking ball spin. Maybe that guy needs to start throwing sliders. His, 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 the his underhand would have been better. Maybe the ball underhand probably would have been better. He hung one to Thompson, too. His breaking ball sucked. Didn't have a breaking ball. It was a yeah, batting yeah, practice a fastball. Good. The ball just had a little... It's a little confidence confident. booster. He had a confidence booster. Gio gave the fist bump around first because he goes, I have to hit that pitch out. I have to hit that pitch oh, out. Sure. Because you're, you're going to get up. dominated in the dugout. I was asking Jay Mitch's question the other day, or earlier today when we were hitting. I was like, hey, how many home runs do you think... Uh, how many home runs Barry have? He's like, oh, he's got four, four or five. I was like, no, he's got eight. Eight home runs. There's 16 games we've played. He has eight of them. Eight home runs. Half the games he's played. had a home run half the games he's played. That's impressive. He's a Sneaky, kind of. And he dropped the one at 442 <laughs> feet. That is a bomb. It's, it's a bomb. intimidator. Yeah, that's a bomb. That I is far. That's way I don't back. think you realize how far no, that, that's way 442 back. feet is. Lloyd, like, that ball got small, like, real quick. Small. <laughs> yeah, that's losing it in the light. That ball got real small. It's I still mean, going up on the way gone. <laughs> hey, and here's the deal, though. The Intimidator has never been in jeopardy, and he is pelting it. Here's the deal. You, I mean, he he's banging. Give him a give him a drop three. Give him a real bat. It is a drop three. I mean, drop five. Give him the old school bat. Oh, that's the real bats? Yeah. <laughs> that's the real bats. That, that's weird. That's the news to me. I didn't know that was a real bat. Give me gorilla ball. He's, this is, he's doing gorilla ball. I know. Ball. I mean, give me that bat. What, what is Tommy, does Tommy, the Tanks, is Tommy Tanks still on, stuck on nine homers? Like if, you know, everybody was pumped and Tommy Tanks had nine home runs in eight games. The best part about it, too, it's so quiet, dude. Like, is it a 380, like, too? Like you don't hear anything yeah. from him. He's a great hitter. He's a great yeah. hitter. It's 21 quiet. RBIs. Is this the definition of lineup protection? Whenever he has Cruz... No, I mean, I think he's going to hit no matter what. You know, he hit me rate last year at 17 as a freshman, but Cruz in 406. Six, yeah, no one talks about that. 406. He's got, what, three or four home runs four. this year? Four home runs. But 19 RBIs. Yeah, right? <laughs> you have K. Doty, who's hitting three, just under 400 with dope, six dope boy. and 26. So he was, before the season, nobody was really mentioning him. This guy's going to be a first rounder. He's a stud, he's a baller. And what I love the most about what he does. Is when he's in the box, and he swings like he may not, and he has his swing's great. I love his swing, but it may not look as pretty as like some of the lefty Joe swings, Bear. or it may not look like you know Dylan Cruz's. 
But this man is hitting balls through the deepest part of the ballpark in deep left center field, and it is easy. He's flipping balls out, and they're going out, and that, to me, tells me a lot about how good his swing is because he's not just yanking balls down the left field line. He's hitting balls like to the deep parts yeah, of the first. park, and they're getting out of here. You it's watch Cade, you quick. watch Cade play, and it's like he's really he's a really good player, and I feel like there's still so much more there too, which is no crazy doubt, thing. no doubt. Like, I feel like he's got so much more growing to go, and he's st- he's already a really good. Player. I mean, it seems like every game he gets a double. Yeah, hey, he's here's, not hitting a double; he's in a home run. He's got ten. He's got ten doubles yeah, right for the year. Yeah. Taxes. Here's the deal, though. Gavin Duga hadn't even gotten hot yet. He's in the bottom of the lineup, and he hadn't gotten hot. And the boys are like, you have you look at the top four or five guys. Uh, Jobert's hitting 370. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, he was hot early. I think he had four home runs early in the season, three or four home runs. And he hadn't really hit one in a little bit, but, like, he's still hitting 370. He's still driving some guys in. And the the emotional leader of your team is, is Duga, and he hadn't even gotten hot yet. And that's going to happen. SEC play starts on Friday. They play A&M. I think this is a good good way to start. SEC play, you're not playing, you're not starting off with Vanderbilt, you're not starting off with some of like the top tier teams. I think a and is going to be a little bit down compared to where they have been in the past. Um, my buddy is their coach, uh, Nolan Kane's over there, bringing, he brought some transfers in. What's uh, the TCU guy is their head coach there? Schloss? Uh, yeah, I don't Schloss, know. What's Schloss, Schloss, yeah, 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 yeah. Schloss Nagel? Schloss Nagel? How do you say his name? The Schloss. The Schloss. Schloss is the coach there. Coach S. Coach S. He's there. Just call me Mr. S. Yeah. <laughs> He's there. He's got to have a nickname. Nolan's right? there, but I think a and I, I think they would admit that A&M is probably not where they're going to be next year or the year before. 10 and or 5. Or the, the year after. They're 10 and 5. Like, they're not – they're an SEC team, so they're good. They can beat you. But yeah. I think this is a good way Whoa, to start. And took two or three from them. That's brutal. Yeah, I think it's a good way to start. SEC play for, for – especially coming off a weekend like they had last year. <clears throat> I mean, last week. They're going to come in – Hopefully, Blake Money's back on the bump. They get, they continue to build this confidence, and it's just a continual progression until you get to the gauntlet of the SEC play, which is going to happen super soon. I would imagine they save Blake Money for they won't pitch him Friday. I don't Why? think save him for what? Make sure he's healthy. Nah, he's if healthy, he's healthy, he's going to pitch. He's, if he's healthy, he's pitching Friday, or or he's not, not going to pitch this week. Yeah. if I would. If That's I what I'm saying. That's, I don't but think he's, he's not, they're not going to rush him. But if he's health, if he goes out there and he's healthy, he's pitching. They didn't just say, "Oh, we're gonna we're gonna get past a And M." Like, no, you need your. Plus, you want him to keep throwing. You want him to keep his arm in shape. You want him to keep the because he had four, he was throwing four perfect innings on Friday. Perfect. What's the biggest change? Perfect means nobody got on base. Don't tell him that. Perfect. If you're wondering, if you're wondering what that meant. Perfecto. Perfecto. Wait, what were you gonna ask me? Is he the biggest shocker of the LSU baseball season so far? Because that's not, I did not expect him to be able to come um, in and think, be a Friday night I guy think maybe like to us, but I don't think to, to – I mean, yeah. he, he got – Jay put him as a Friday night guy for a reason. So he obviously showed during the uh, spring practices before the season in the fall that he, he took that jump from freshman year to sophomore year, and he was ready to, to be put in that role. So obviously Jay saw it and put him at Friday. So maybe to like us and to everybody watching – Maybe that was a shock, but I don't think it was a shock to everybody in the locker room, which is the most important thing anyway. You know what I mean? Like, we could do, we see, like, people on the outside looking in, we're always so quick to, like, make our judgments and to make our decisions and to, like, say this is what should happen, this is what shouldn't happen. You got a little hickey on your neck? or Dude, dude I got in trouble for, for that. She was like, is that a hickey? I was like, no, oh. it's a rash from my elbow. Sure. Oh, your elbow, your elbow to moves to your neck. Or is it from the other sleeve when you... When you broke your sleeve, when you just but bust yeah. it out. What kind of massages are you getting? Yeah. I mean, they don't kiss your neck, do they? That's a bridge too far. Just touch me with your hands. So <laughs> Maybe that, that detergent or something. I don't know what it is, but it happened to my elbow, <laughs> and then I got a GoFlow IV in this one, so I looked like I did heroin for like a good week, and I mean? didn't. I That's why you're would, savvy. You sure? But would you? I try it. I think I could kick it. It's a good challenge. See if I could kick it. Wow. Two. You're dark. Wow. <laughs> dark. Hey, what? Yeah, that means you're, a lot. You're what? dark. What? <laughs> you're going to do that? You're going to you're gonna try? You're going to test those waters? That is rocky. Hey, if we need views, I'll do it. No. no one? I wouldn't oh. let you do it. That's the... I'll, the, I'll step in. That As was the leader the of the show, challenge. I'll say, no, we're not, we're not doing that. As the leader no, 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 of the no, no, show. No, no, no. We got to reel you back in. We're not going to We're not gonna do that. But back to what I was saying. At, from the outside looking in, we, we make all these assumptions and all these expert opinions and all these we should do this we should 
but we're not in the middle. We're not in the middle of the locker room. We don't understand the dynamic of the locker room because we're not there every day. Jay and the coaching staff, and I think that's a big – we talked about it honestly before the show about how good Mark Few is in basketball. I know it's a different sport, but the way you manage personalities on a team is a huge – I think that's what Maneri was really good at. As Maneri understood, sometimes he understood how to manage – the players, like if the players were close, he kind of allowed that them to like self-regulate themselves, and he would put guys in a position, right? Well, Mark Few talks about how he recruits to the personality of his team, right? He recruits to making sure that the guys he brings in on the court mesh as like, personality-wise, and like that, that, that to me, that it goes. That's a very underrated way of coaching. And I don't think like people just look at the numbers. They just look at oh, what you, can you do me? Could, what can you do for me on the field? But yeah, that's all great. But if you're a great player on the field but a piece of shit in the locker room, that's going to be more detrimental to you than hitting 20 home runs in a season. Right, and I think that's what a testament to Jacob Berry that he came in and fit in instead of no like he would like it could easily have been a teacher's pet scenario where it's like mm-hmm. oh Jay Johnson's bringing over his guy to come hit. Well, for he brought him. over a good pet. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. that's a good one. That's a good <laughs> one. Said he's good. Yeah, he's, he's a he's a Stud. he's good. But that I think that's what he saw with with uh, with money, right? And I think he saw that he sees it with some of the other guys that are getting opportunities to play. Um, and Joe and I think that's yeah, Joe Bear. I think he sees yeah, you know, all these guys that like. <laughs> Oh, we didn't know this guy. Like, no, no, no. There's more. Like, obviously they're good, but there's more to it than that. And I think that's going to go a long way. And that's they've built that chemistry through the course of the preseason, at pre-SEC season. Well, I pose this question to you. You talk about a guy like Blake Money that makes that jump freshman to sophomore year. Did you all have a guy that you saw were like, oh shit, we have a guy all of a sudden? Like, saw. I wouldn't even say you saw flashes in Money. He was good, but you didn't expect him to be a Friday night guy. Do you know of anybody during your time, whether LSU or in the pros, where it's like, holy shit. This guy's a guy? Like a surprise um, almost. Blake Money wasn't really – he just didn't live up to it last year. But he wasn't yeah, – he, was he wasn't bigger, like lowly touted coming tough. in. He oh, wasn't yeah, lowly touted coming in. He was, yeah, he was, a, he was a bigger crew. Yeah. I, right. I, if crew. I had to get – okay, so basically the only one I could put to it is Anthony Renato. Like yeah. he came in as a huge recruit, but he was he spent a lot of his freshman year hurt. hurt. And then the next year, he was literally the all Friday American. night. Yeah, all this American. This is the guy we wanted. Projected. This is the guy we anticipated. He was projected top five pick. After he did, and then he got hurt a little bit his junior year, but he was came in talented, didn't really get to perform much because he was hurt. Then from day one, on the his sophomore year, he yeah. shoved. You know, like yeah. he was a Saturday guy because, or actually, yeah, because coach gave Lewis the Friday start because he was right. a senior, came back, and Ronaldo th- then Ronaldo became a for a minute the Friday guy, and then Coleman would if Coleman didn't close or pitch in relief. He was gonna start on Sunday, and then coach like, uh, no, no, no. Coleman starts on Friday. <clears throat> Ronaldo starts on Saturday. Austin Ross, who got yeah. drafted in like the, four, I don't even know, pretty high, I think, yeah. in the as a Sunday guy. I'm like, okay, that's pretty good, pretty good rotation. Yeah, we can deal with that. How big is it having a Saturday guy like that? Huge. I mean, you have two aces. Right. That that doesn't happen often. That's kind of what. Like. That's kind of what basically. That's what Vanderbilt's always done. Right. You know, Vanderbilt always in, has in college baseball, dude. If you got, yeah. if you got. Three arms. You got a like three really good arms, like a good Friday night guy, a good Saturday night guy, and a great and a closer. Good closer. You have a very good shot. Yeah, because if two we can half, find one to two bridge guys in there, two Skip that are Burton reliable, you need two and a half pitch, You need two and a half starters. Yeah. That's what Skip Burton used to say. Two and a half starters. Yeah, you need two guys that can dominate on Friday and Saturday, and you need a guy that can get you through five innings and allow your offense to to rake on Sunday. Yeah. Floyd's been good. So Floyd's been great. Guys. I like his fastball. I love. I like a guy who can control his fastball and has confidence to go at you with his fastball and get outs with his fastball. Because mm-hmm. the other stuff can come. Now, if you're trying to spin it, spin it, spin it, and then try to sneak the fastball and you you rely on some of the other stuff, then I don't I don't like that as much. Now, obviously, that those guys have success. But if you can go and you can dominate with a good fastball and you can pitch off the fastball and you're confident off the fastball, I like. I can. T- I'll take that every day of the week. Yeah. You know, I, it just I, keeps guys I enjoy more engaged yeah. too as you're playing. It's been great. It's just a Texas game. You see, as a pitcher, how it snowballs mentally. You get the know. error, and then you give a good team an extra out, and then they go yard, and that just snowballs from there. Those extra it's outs hurt. Extra outs are huge. Extra outs are extra outs hurt. Yeah. That, that yeah. hurts. That hurts. Like when you start giving teams extra opportunity because those guys, I mean, lead off walks, two out walks, and errors. Those guys always seem to come back around and score. Always. Yeah. Is it okay that he throws his fastball that much? Yep. 
I'm okay. I'm okay with it. I mean, the worst. He, if, yep. uh, now I don't know. <laughs> yep. I don't know. I don't know what the advanced analytics yeah. say on it, but I would have to say that they're pre- probably pretty good. Like they, they probably he probably has a lot of good. He had, probably has a nice spin on it. Probably the ball has a lot of good carry. One of those things I used to call all oh, this ball it seems like it rises, yeah. but it stays on the same plane is what that means. It seems like that's what his fastball is. Mm-hmm. So you can throw up in the zone, and it's going to get you get. That's what everybody is teaching now, or that's what everybody wants in Major League Baseball is the guys that have good fastballs and they can pitch on the top of the zone, and it's hard to get to. And it seems like that's what he's got. Obviously, I haven't seen those other numbers, but um, I I like that he pitches. I like that he throws his fastball that much. I do. You know, because it's if you have that pitch, that a dominant pitch you can rely on like that, especially a heater, it's. It makes it's more confident. Could forward. you ever see Rosalman starting a game, or are they just gonna keep him as that yeah, I like anchor him. guy in the pen? Oh, I, like I like him out the pen. I love where he's at. Okay. I'll, I mean, <clears throat> three innings, seven punches. I mean, that's unreal. If you're counting, you have nine guys nine, you face yeah. in those three innings. You struck out seven of those. Yeah. He's huge against Baylor. Times. He was huge against yeah. Baylor. He's got, and that's I think that's the the beauty of him is he can throw you multiple innings. Yeah. And he can stay, and he's strong through all those innings. So it's like, yeah, he may be great as a starter, but why not throw him? Why not have if I can throw a guy him twice goes in a six weekend. innings, and you throw him three, and you now you you bridge the gap, and you won the Saturday game, and you only threw two guys. That's a big thing. Say, if, I, if I could get him twice in a weekend, and man, yeah, that's it, huge. It reminds me of Garrett last year when shit hit the fan. It would always just yeah. throwing Garrett. But if you have those two bridge guys, like you're yeah. saying, you can throw in Garrett. No, and or, if he and if he keeps doing this, and on Friday night he shoves. Gets the guy out, and then you have him. And let's say Ty Floyd, or let's say Blake Money shoves on Friday. You don't need him. We win. And you go on Saturday, and he comes in, and throws an inning or two. He's going to be able to throw again on Sunday. So you get, if you can get him two out of those three games on a weekend, that's huge. Because he's the guy. He's the guy out the pen that throws the most, has the most noise oh, on his year. I mean, I think he's, I think he's touched a hundred. Mm-hmm. I think he's touched triple digits. Which first I mean, game now, he touched against Maine, first time yeah. pitch he hit hundred in the cold. That's impressive. He's trying to start a fire. Now it's, I mean, 100, digits, 100, 100 miles an hour now. I like, feel like. Guy from Tennessee. Everybody throws it. Yeah, guy from Tennessee throws 100. Guy from Tennessee is impressive, bro. That's slider. <laughs> That's unbelievable. He's yeah, also, impressive. breaking news Jarvis is out of Cleveland. Where? Yes! Where? Where's he going? Where? I don't know. He's going to find out. He's, all, he's Let's gone. Let's go. Wait, how, wait how, what, what, what? he's free, Sheffy. Really? <laughs> Is it the real chef? <laughs> is it the real chef or it's the real, fake chef? No, Are you it's sure? Real. Is it the blue check mark? It's blue check mark. Firefighter. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Deshaun yeah. comes to New Orleans. Jarvis, Jarvis comes to New Orleans. Tyron Matthew. Tyron Matthew comes to New Orleans. And we are going to the Super, Super Bowl. Bowl. We're going to win. Again. Hot. Imagine, if Jar- Imagine those jersey sales. Jarvis and Honey Badger. Deshaun Watson. Jarvis in 14. Honey Badger in 7. Deshaun Watson in 69. Oh, I, was <laughs> I, was say, yeah. I mean, that's a great segue because, look. The real major, question is. <laughs> major League, what's the real question? What's the real question? The real oh, question ahead, is. Let me go ahead and pop my squat here. How depressed are you if you're Amari Cooper right now? Oh, Where's he going to go? Where's he at? Oh, he's in Cleveland. That's right. That's right. That's right. Jarvis is gone. Sports show. Odell's gone. Sports show. And Baker's blowing his phone up. He's like, no. No. Fuck. And then no, he, they got the hey, so same play with Baker. Amari Cooper goes to goes to Cleveland, which is not fun. No. Then you turn around. Then they turn around. and They give Michael Gallup five years, sixty two million dollars. Like, damn, that stinks. Yeah. And then you see Jarvis leaves Cleveland. Like, damn, that really stinks. Yeah. That sucks, actually. And that's a tough. That's a tough position for Amari. I think Amari is great. I think he's a great receiver. I just. You know, Baker and Stefanski aren't going to be able to help you too much over there, I don't think. I mean, Jarvis, you had two all-pro receivers want out. Want out. Could you imagine what the offense would look like if you if, they, if everybody so was happy Chubb. and you just kept Jarvis, Odell, and you had Cooper Cooper there? And Nick Chubb. And Nick Chubb. Fuck. And and uh, Hunt. And it's all going to come Fuck. down to Baker's just like, I was just hurt. We weren't bad. Well, you're bad now. They're bad. You ain't got by anybody right now, but. Maybe Miles Garrett. Right. What did you just say? Heard me. He was hurt. He wasn't bad. He was just hurt. He was just hurt. But this is what I was gonna say. This is what I was gonna say. Well, stare off. He was just hurt. He was just hurt. The whole fucking. 
That was a narrative. <laughs> that was a narrative. Okay. Did you blink just now? I don't know. But hearing those words, you just they hurt me because... Mm. My eyes stinks. are watering. Mm. Stinks. Stinks. <laughs> but <laughs> Major League Baseball... Major League Baseball was was in a lockout, right? Obviously, for a long time. And they had all this negative press. Major League Baseball ends, and they start all this free agency stuff. Now you got positive news. NFL goes, whoa, whoa, whoa. We are still king. Hey, Tom, you need to announce that you're coming back. <laughs> Tom, we're going to need Tom, you to go announce you're coming back. Days. You, need to announce, you need to announce that you're coming back. We're getting, MLB has got too much good press. We're not, we're not getting overshadowed to come back. He comes back. Now nobody's talking about baseball anymore. The ratings on They're the NFL talking about the drop. NFL. <laughs> NFL is hot. Tom Brady's back in Tampa, right? The Saints defense is fine because they dominate Tom they in Tampa. The, they put the bat signal up for Tom. Like, do the thing. Tom goes. Ryan Jensen comes back. His center's like, they're worried about him losing him for Asia. Oh, no, he's back. <laughs> Everybody's back because Tom's back. Just wait to right? see who they grab in It's just going to be – just per, they're, just, they're just postponing what – is going to happen. Well, it's going to happen this year. They're just postponing it for another year, which is great. It's fine. Tom wants to go win another Super Bowl. He couldn't. He couldn't deal with being home. I understand that. That is fine. Speaking of free agency, oh, another one. Ronald More Riggs, our guy, Ron the Don, Ron Don, Cloud Demon. Bengals are expected to sign former Bucks guard Alex Kappa to a four-year, forty million. Dollar there we go. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ron broke the news. Ron is our. There we go. We don't have the ticker up. Let's go, dude. Yeah, we don't have the ticker up though. Okay, I get the ticker. Well, the I just want to give Sterling Automotive the love that they, they deserve. Uh, they deserve ticker all time. the love. Ticker time. Like, all right, okay. Ticker, 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 ticker. Do you ticker think parade. the Saints huh? are really going to get Jarvis? Dude, no. Patriots. No, I don't Bill think Bell the Patriots are going to get him either. I'm just saying. You know I'm just... I think there's a high chance he goes to the Niners. Oh, man. Fucking right there with the Bucks. Oh, yeah. Fuck. They're going to win that mode. They are going to do some well, cap salary. Cat I mean, they have, they have Tom coming I mean, if you're, if you're basically trying to force Tinker. your way out of there. There you go. Tinker. Tinker. You guys. There you go. Now you're working. Um, but, I so, so Burrow has, obviously, we knew how much say he had when he said, hey, go draft Jamar Chase. Now he goes out there, and they said that he's got, he's got pretty much, he is in all the meetings with the GM and the owners and the head coach. Like he's in there saying, "Hey, this is what we want." Like they're yeah. they're letting they're allowing him That's awesome. to build, which is awesome. So he goes out there. Now they're gonna they have all the money in the world to spend. They have, they're so far below the cap, and they're using it right now and getting a guard, huge. They need about two more of those guys to go on free agency. They're probably gonna go try to get Teron Armstead, be the, be the anchored left tackle, and go get another interior offensive lineman, and they're gonna be Gucci. They're gonna be great, uh, and they deserve. They need to be because the, you have a you have a quarterback under center there that's a has a potential to be one of the best in the game. Hey, you think if we pull off the the Sean trade or whatever, you think we can keep Armstead? Think he'll come back? Mm-mm. I don't even have enough money. I saw, keep, right, I, saw well, I saw something. He said he wasn't closing the door on coming back to the Saints. So I hope. I mean, that'd be great if you got him and Ramchek. But the I just don't know how much you get. And we were talking about this before the show. So you saw what Russell got in the trade. Yeah. You saw the two first rounders, two second rounders, a fourth rounder, and but, two but, playmakers. But but let me just two playmakers. But, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can't really. I, and this you're with me, Deshaun. You can't really put it in the same thing because you're with Deshaun me. said he ain't playing. So you're, you're with me. That already drives. And the price he's not down. a Super Bowl winning quarterback. And that drives the price down already yes. because Russell yes. was gonna play. Deshaun's like, I'm not suiting up. So like, you're not you're not gonna get premium price for him because he ain't. You have to get rid of him. Asking for three first though yeah, before yeah, yeah. the case, right? Yeah. When you thought he would never play football again, right? Uh, so I wonder how much that changes though. But but you see you see the market. I think they were trying. To, I think they were trying to just ramsack everybody just to try. To no get doubt, but you see the ramsack. ramsack. They want ram check for the deal. Right. That was one of the names Who that does? I mentioned. There's an image in there. Oh, but if you get Teron Armstead, you, would they rather ram check or would they rather? Would you, could you put could you put Teron Armstead in that trade? Sign and uh, trade? They'd rather no. They'd rather they'd rather Ram track because Ram track's younger. <laughs> but, by the way, did you see what we did with? Uh, did you see what they did with um, Kamara? What did they do? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. talked about this a couple of days ago. They restructured his contract. You know, like he's in, he's got legal trouble and stuff yeah. going on right now, right? They restructured his contract and gave him eight point eight. Eight plus, eight million plus this year. <laughs> hey, go ahead. Bonus. Basically I know you beat like, the crap out of somebody, but here's your money. But here's eight million. We, yeah. we need this space, and you might need this money to beat this case. Here God you go. Seat. 
We need cap space. You need you need capital right now. Good lawyer. We're good. This is good. We don't think you're gonna. We think you'll be playing for us. We'll be all right. We're just gonna give you this money, and we're gonna be good. Speaking of money, Kirk Cousins. Kirk. Doing it. Greatest agent ever. Him and Carson Wentz. No, no, no. Let's listen. Him and Carson Wentz. Not only greatest agent. I'm not even Sam Bradford. Breaking news. Oh, more. The Ron break it? This is great. This is the great part about 11 to 1. It's it's not not football breaking, though. It's baseball breaking. Oh, who have it? Who? Fernando Tatis Jr. (gasps) What happened? What happened? Fractured wrist and is out for up to three months. No. Uh, Mike, you learned how to play shortstop. Wow. Need surgery, fractured wrist. Move Machado. How did he do that? I don't know. I just got to, I don't know. They would just probably move Manny to shortstop at that point. Do you think Manny Machado did it to him? Well, I mean, who did they, who did they move at shortstop last year when they wasn't when he wasn't playing? It wasn't. Machado. Like, they had, they had really Tatis in the outfield for a little, for, for a little bit last oh, year. Oh, date the ticker. What? Update the ticker. T- Update the ticker. breaking news. Update the ticker. Tatis out three months. That's tough. Surgery up to three months. When does the season I know start? And I, I know. Yeah, okay, we're jumping all over the place right now. But I know that they're. Ta- I know they're talking about trading Hosmer and Myers. I saw mm-hmm. that. They want. They, they were. Like They've been trying to trade Myers. They've they been were trying to trade Will. Him. Yeah, They've been that. trying to trade Will for a while, but um, and trying to trade Hosmer. Actually, mm-hmm. for the last two off seasons. Yeah. But I mean, I like both those guys. Are gonna. Both those guys are good. They're yeah, gonna get you. They're players. gonna get you something back for right. those guys, but they're trying to clear up. Some of the they're trying to get rid of their contracts. They're trying to do yeah. they're trying to clear up some of the tax. Mm-hmm. You know, there's no cap, no cap, no cap. No cap. Try to try to clear up some of that luxury tax money. Great rotation yeah. I have. Yeah, it's great. They just gotta stay healthy. Musgrove, Darvish, Snell. They just gotta stay healthy. Let's finish. Let's finish the football stuff. We're almost we're almost to baseball, the big league baseball stuff. But we're talking about Kirk Cousins. Everybody's talking about the agents. Kirk. That's a Kirk gambled him on himself five, four separate times for one year deals. So he signed franchise tag, ton of money. That's a gamble on yourself. Had a good year. Signed franchise tag, bunch of money, gamble on yourself. He just signed another one year deal worth thirty five million dollars. He is going to make two hundred and fifty million dollars in his career right now after this deal. Kirk Cousins. I like to sit at the blackjack table with Kirk Cousins. No mm-hmm. doubt, <laughs> dude. That's Chances it. Look, Chances I, res- not I respect dream. him. <laughs> I respect him for betting on himself. I'm actually yeah. going to split those aces. Yeah, come back my way. Look, <laughs> quarterback is the hardest position in the NFL to find. Kirk is the hardest one. <laughs> and and Kirk Cousins is good. Like he's not a bad quarterback, but he's not. I think, bro, the quarter. narrative the narrative on Kirk Cousins would be way different if he just win like one or two playoff games. Yeah, well, he did. because he did the, the numbers he put up last year in the season were sneaky. Yeah. Very they good. They always are. He doesn't Very throw a ton of picks. Good. He throws seven picks this year. The problem, touchdowns. Yeah, like thirty three touchdowns too. The, the year problem, before thirty five. The problem with Kirk Cousins is he gets a lot of the touchdowns late in the game after they start off super slow, and then he gets. But he he's always their games are always close, and it's. He just it's just it's hard to a, it's hard to beat a narrative that people keep pounding. Oh, this yeah. guy's not good. This guy's not good. This guy's oh, he's good. He's even, better than even. He's better. You tell me. You tell me. Is he in the bottom half or the top half of the quarterbacks? He's the top definitely fifteen. Definitely the top half. But you think he's no, no, no. He's a top. You 15. think there's fifteen there's no quarterbacks way. in the NFL better there's than no him? Way. Stop. No you think he's bottom? I mean, 15? that's that. There's you no you are the guys that fall into that stupid narrative that don't know that don't count the quarterbacks. He's a three time Pro Bowler. He's in the Pro Bowl three times. No chance. The Pro Bowl doesn't mean shit. But 15, you think there's 15 quarterbacks in the NFL better than him? No, he is right on the fringe of that, yeah, where he is the like, safest bet in the NFL. Yeah. But Kirk Cousins is pretty a good. Safe, but a safe bet is yards. bet top 15. Yes, dude. Well, I, I, okay, but what's the... Getting a quarterback is the most... Yeah. Yards. There is no way in hell y'all are telling me he's not a top 15 quarterback. He's right on in the, the fringe. Right he is the most, he's the safest bet you could have in the NFL of what Kirk Cousins is. He but that's, has, if you're, he if, has a lot of delineation between I can win a Super Bowl with him. Okay, but that but to me, that's a top 15 quarterback. He's not You're not going to win a quarterback ever. with no, anybody no, less than that. Nobody's winning a Super Bowl with Kirk Cousins. I agree. I'm going to be honest. I think you can. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think I can win a Super Bowl with Kirk Cousins, but I think I could probably get to one. I agree. I mean, I, I okay, it's it's who's better, Kirk Cousins or no, Jimmy Garoppolo? I'm thinking Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins. Who's better? Who do you think's better? I'm taking Kirk simply off of his durability. He's in there. And the fact he's that he actually, Whoa. if you need Kirk Cousins to make a throw, he can do it. Jimmy's not really going to do it. I think they're pretty much, like, you can lump all of those I just, guys. I think, I think Kirk's better than him. Kirk so do you think that, the, do you think the San Francisco 49ers win a Super Bowl if Kirk Cousins Yes. 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 Wow. Top 15? With those I, think Kirk, I think Kirk Cousins he gives him a better opportunity, a better opportunity to stretch the field than Jimmy Garoppolo does. Yeah, yeah, and Kirk Cousins stays on the field. 
He's not. He's not hurt. I don't know. I think he's. I think he's a top fifteen quarterback. Yeah, but he is. All right, looking at the quarterbacks in the league. He I know, is. but Thank top you. fifteen doesn't mean shit. Yeah, yes, it does. It doesn't. It doesn't. It's a top, top half. Should be top three. And I tell it. you, what, I, I will tell you what would top you be, fifteen no, would does. You be, would you be excited if the Saints traded for Kirk Cousins, or would you rather Deshaun Watson? Or would no, you that's this, that is, no, no, you no, what, all, all I am saying. Is, I will say this though: top fifteen. You can't compare that those like two. ten to like seventeen range does put you in a situation where every time that contract comes up, you're. Probably looking for better, but you know, but you can't not. find it. But there's no not doubt. better. Yeah, it, no doubt. It does put you in a tough situation when it comes to I'm that. This guy, he came in, he almost, he almost whiffed <laughs> oh on his own God. baby reveal. All right, yeah, with well, the ball that's well, guess the size what? He of only, his palm. He only did. He only whiffed like on like seven of those like this past year. <laughs> yeah. I'll take that. Ooh. He didn't throw it away. He, he only threw seven picks. He this seven interceptions. Away. Thirty-four touchdowns, seven interceptions. You take that? I would. I would take that. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Four thousand yards. 34 and 7. You take that. I'm taking that. Wait, then why do they stink? They're no defense. They're the they have defense. zero defense they anymore. Defense. Defense. Those not, are the 32nd no, they worst defense. Yeah, year. the worst no, defense in the this, league. Not this year, but I'm saying in previous years. With no, the they've Vikings, been bad. The Mike defense Zimmer. has been bad there for like two or three years. They, but they've, they they've, weren't they've, really they, good. He won a playoff game against the Saints. Right, when that, uh, what was credited for winning that game? I the defense. Was, yeah, but he still won the game. Like people, that was a whole that was a whole thing. Is like he can't win a playoff game. He won. He beat the Saints in New Orleans on the road. He beat them. baby. So, Daniel Hunter beat the Saints. I can't argue with you. I know. All right. It's hard to argue when you're wrong. Who would you rather take, Cousins or Ryan Tannehill? I can't argue with you. Uh, I think, honestly, I'll take Cousins over Tannehill. Me too. Better stats? Mm-hmm. Take, I'll take Mark Mariota or Cousins. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I mean, listen. I think Cousins is a good quarterback. I think Cousins, if you put now nah, he can't win a he can't win a Super Bowl by himself. But if you put him on the right situation, he can win. I do. He I just think thinks he he's weird. He hates Kirk Cousins. You tell me you put Kirk Cousins on. He doesn't like on that. the Rams. He wins the Super Bowl. I think he could. I think he could on the Rams. Hey. They're winning. I'm, I'm, gonna, saying, I'm gonna need a little more. Like, I'm not saying, but I'm not. But that's not about. I'd say I think that he had a better chance to win a Super Bowl in San Francisco than Jimmy Garoppolo did. I, I agree put with it that. On the, I'm putting it on the poll. I could. I would agree mm. with that. Jimmy Garoppolo you know? or Kirk Cousins. Kirk. Um, Zach Ertz got three years and uh, and, and uh, Tex Quartz in Arizona. What? What? <laughs> God. And they got Kyler back. He put all of his pictures back up on. Of course in, he did. Instagram. So did apparently really? there's a way on Instagram. How right? How dumb is that? Do you think? Do you think? Yeah. Did he really do that? Yeah. yeah. The so apparently there's a like way. A, there's a way because Bregman used to. Oh do no, this, I've heard of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put on archives. I didn't know the first this. time I ever noticed that though it was like I don't know if you ever noticed like a lot of like uh, like musical artists will do that like when they're promoting the new the new album or whatever they'll just scrub the whole thing and then it's yeah. just. So I, I, I didn't know that, but he really put all that stuff back on there. Mm-hmm. Kyler, Jesus. That's, that's Does he pathetic. get double likes? Is he is he trying to double dip? That's pathetic. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's very very very. He's trying to double dip what? Very, very, what are you trying to double dip? Nah, Baker's double dip a little above that. Baker's just a little below that. Baker above, Mayfield, below. better actor or quarterback? Uh, he actually is a good actor. He's a good actor. He is a good actor. He is a good actor. <laughs> Guys, can we talk about something else besides <laughs> Baker? I yeah, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here's a perfect stomach. transition. Perfect <laughs> transition here. <laughs> We talked about MLB free agency. We talked about Fran He's being hurt for three months now. I oh, just Kirk Cousins that. agreed to an extension. That's what we're talking about. Him. Okay. I didn't know that. Sports show. Sports what do you show. know? Sports show. I blocked it by... I lost my basketball dad. Um, hey, Nelson Cruz, dude. Doing it. 67 40, years old. Was it 43? He's 43. He got a $15 million... $12 million, $3 million buyout, plus a $15 million mutual option. The real question is, when does it stop? Like, as soon as they say, hey... If he doesn't hit twenty, we can't keep signing. <laughs> he's like, play forever with the DH. I mean, he's. I mean, with the DH now in both leagues, he can play till he's forty-seven. Wow, no. He can be Julio Franco. You he know? just runs into twenty a year. Julio I mean, Franco should. If you ever see that guy in person? He is a house. House. He's still. I mean, he's large. Human. He's. I mean, he's. And he's never hurt. Six two two thirty. Large. Human. He's always. He's always in there. Kershaw signed a big deal with the. Dodgers, yeah. which duh. one year deal, right? right. One year deal, one like year. duh. One year and just probably go home after that if he wants to. It look the best. The thing that the the big trade, or in free agency, the big move, is. <laughs> this looks good. It does look good. <laughs> Thank you. It does look good. The Wait big trade it. was Gary Sanchez. I was waiting who, to see when that was going to happen. Who stinks? 
I don't think he's good. Thank Wait, before high. we get there. A lot of power. Real Fuck pancake Gary behind. Yeah. Yeah. Pancake hands behind the can't, can't can't don't, catch. Don't, don't support But then he hasn't him. even been hitting. He hasn't Fuck even been hitting. Yeah, well. So he gets traded to Minnesota. So the... the um, wait, wait, wait. Isaiah. Before we get to... Is Nelson Cruz, do you think, still chasing a World Series because of what happened in right field? Yeah. I, I mean... It's... That was so bad. That was bad. That was, that bad. was bad. That, but that that's playoff. actually that's actually what turned him into a DH. Hey, that he's a, playoff, he was a right fielder before. Rob that Washington playoff, he's got a good arm. Yeah. Well, that yeah, I can. If you don't have, but the ball that playoff, that that series was unbelievable. unbelievable. That was probably, David Freeze was like, yeah, that was a. That was, I was 2011. I was in yeah. playing in Arizona in the Arizona Fall League. I just signed. I was playing out there. I'm like, this is. I'm like I'm watching this. That game. was the that was this the Dodger Houston series before there was the Dodger Houston series. For yeah. the trash can. Don't talk about that. Come on. Yeah, it's over. We got past that. Dude, that Rangers team. Yeah, Josh Hamilton, Nelson mm. Cruz, Ian Kensler, a Beltre, Guerrero was DH. Elvis, Cole Hamels. Elvis, I guess, still has like a really Elvis, good player. Elvis, Natalie Cole Hamels. Was Cole Hamels on that no, team? No, he was still in Philly. Was he? Mm. Yeah. Michael Young was on that team. Oh, yeah, he was still in Philly. Michael Young. Michael hey, Young. Bro. Hey, go, Michael Young was the best hitter wait, of all of them. Hey, can we just go back to this real quick? I'll just because this just makes me laugh. I really wish we could have like we could find a mashup of Gary Sanchez and CJ the plate. Oh, this definitely. Oh, CJ uh, <laughs> Wilson. CJ Wilson was there before he went to Anaheim. What'd you say? A, a mashup of Gary Sanchez behind the plate. Hey, be I'll tell you this Gary from experience. Rotting, getting that pass ball. Hey, from experience. From experience, I am. I am. I'm, I'm hitting. You have Dellen Batances, who's a giant. He's six foot nine, throws a hundred miles an hour oh, on the mound. Eight minutes long. And Gary Sanchez is catching, and I'm not swinging because that, this is the game I had gotten hit twice already. I had gotten hit in the head. That was a game I got hit in the head, and I was like, I'm not swinging. I'm just uh, you either gonna strike me out on three pitches or you're gonna walk me. First three pitches, three balls. The first one almost hits me. The second two were outer third, outer third part of the plate. But Gary Sanchez can't stick it, and so he keeps moving this. So it looks like the ball's way outside. Ball, ball. I'm like, thank God. And then he throws me four or five straight curveballs in a row. Then he gets me out. It pops me out. But Gary Sanchez literally would catch balls and move them out of the strike zone That's and give so them weird. balls. And I'm like, this is unbelievable. That's but weird. Gary Sanchez has a bazooka. Are you watching? Of an arm. Oh, he has an absolute bazooka behind the plate. Unbelievable! And he has he's just lazy. Behind him. He's lazy about yeah. he's lazy about stuff. He's just whatever. But he he when he gets in the ball, so he can he can hit. Yeah, right. If he runs against David Price. Ball go far. But here's my question though: with this trade, right? So Gary Sanchez goes to Minnesota. Uh-huh. He's probably going to DH in Minnesota because they have we already have a catcher over there. Uh, that's pretty true, right? So you get Donaldson. Who is the catcher then? Garver, Mitch Garver, right? They just traded him. They traded Mitch Garver to Texas. Oh, they did trade oh, Mitch Garver to was Texas. Was it Garver or Garner? Somebody got traded to Texas with this. It, it, it was Garver. It, it was, was Mitch him, Garver. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but, so you get the, because uh, they got Isaiah, I forget how he Kind of for left for yeah, left. Yeah, 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 yeah. He got traded twice in two days? Yeah. Oh, he did. He got he traded to Minnesota. He flipped yeah, it. Yeah, so yeah. Minnesota flipped him. So can we not? Wait, why is that? That's a strike, though. Why Why yeah. are you showing that? That's that's what he did. I didn't hit 186. That's it. That's it. They wanted Fucking to give him the baseline that he can kind of catch. I mean, Jesus that's, that's on the umpire though. Well, that's no, bad. He's not I mean, him, bro, dude. look at he's literally. Oh god, it's way worse than I thought. It's like a pancake back there. Gary, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That was good. That was a bad. That was a bad. That was, that was a bad call. But he, but he doesn't get the benefit of the doubt. But he's so bad back there, he doesn't yeah. get good calls. He doesn't get it. But here's my question though. That might be our first flag for you, you two get, boys. <laughs> Damn. Where's it? Was it? Yeah, absolutely. I That's so. terrible. He sucks. But <laughs> he sucks. Donaldson goes to New York. Yeah. What's that? What's that conversation like when he walks into the clubhouse and him um, and Garrett Cole have to her? him and him oh, and Garrett that. Cole have to talk? Ugh. Yeah. Good luck. They're gonna, they're they pa- to, you think they've passed things up already? Well, they're going to have to pass it up if they haven't. Hey, that's two. That's in. two big personalities and that's two big egos that don't want to give in. Yeah. I I like I think I like Donaldson. I like Garrett Cole. I played with Garrett Cole on Team USA. I've got to meet Donaldson a couple times. I like both of them. I would imagine that that conversation was had in the front office before. Look, they, and, before they and, and listen, thing. listen, listen. It's competitive, bro. You're competitive. Yeah, yeah. You're on the field. You're not on the same team. Like, <clears throat> motions run high. That's fine. You get on the same team. We're on the same. We're trying to do the same stuff. Everything's good. I think Donaldson, if, and this is a big if, if he stays healthy, he is going to mash in New York. Yeah. 
he is going to absolutely, and he's going to fit. Like personality is going to be fine. Like he's going to. When's the last time we seen Donaldson without facial hair? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's Toronto. I don't know, but he is going to. I mean, he's going to hit balls so far in that second deck in right field, miss hitting opposite field homers. Like he is like that lineup is. Lemayhew, Judge, Gallo, Stanton, Donaldson. You're gonna get story. Wait, Gallo, Glaber, Glaber. Yeah. yeah. You I have. They're probably, they're pro- I think they're gonna go get story. I think. They're, I think they're gonna get Rizzo back too, though. If Rizzo's there too. Well, he's not right. He's a free agent. But uh, he'll be I their first baseman. I back. think. Yeah. Rizzo will be there. So then you right have now they rejected. They have Lemayhew to play first. They have Torres at second. Right. Which is crazy to me that DJ doesn't play second because he's a three-time gold glover. do it all. But he's a three-time gold glover at second base. I know. Well, it's like the, major league, quote, the uh, major league back to the minors. like, oh, we'll move at first base. Isn't it easy? Because actually the hardest position you can learn how to play. It is hard. Uh, trust me. I wish I had video of my experience this year at first base. <laughs> Tough. I've never played the info in my life. <laughs> so I'm taking ground balls at first, like, to get ready. Like, so I'm like, hey. I was like, I'm, I'm, I look... Like, you hit me a ground ball, fun goes, and I'll pick, I'm great. But you make me do the other stuff where I have to, like, get my footwork right when I have to run to the bag and, like, I'll go for a, a hey, the, ground ball. I realize foot, I'm not there. The, the footwork, footwork part is, of it is it's way That's the crazy it. stuff, right? Like, so I've never been, I've, my feet have never been on the dirt defensively in my life, right? So. That's a warning track. Just a warning track, but that's different dirt. I'm talking that's, about infield dirt. And so I'm taking ground balls, so I'm like, you know what? This is going to be good for me. I can play first. And I can. If I, if I said, I need to work on first, I'd be able to do it. But I didn't get any. I keep doing the backhand. I keep doing the backhand. Because that was I had to, I had to go from up to bottom. But here, you can't go down. You can't jab. You just got to go. So bottom to top. Yeah, bottom to top. I was like, up to bottom? Up to bottom. Up to bottom. <laughs> bottom to top. Confused. So, <laughs> so I'm taking these ground balls. Right? I'm doing early work. I'm working hard. I'm getting hit like laser beam fungos. I'm like, all right, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> they put me in there in the, in the seventh inning one game because I, it was double switches. I'm like, I'm good. I got this. I had a fly ball. I had a ball hit to me. Like, nothing. I'm like, I'm good. I got through the inning. I got through the game. I'm good. We go play in Tampa, in Durham. And they say, hey, you're, you're raking. Um, we, have, we, I need a, we have a rehab guy. I, need, I want to hit you in the lineup. Can you, we're going to put you at first. I'm like, all right, let's do it. Start at first. Tampa's got seven lefties in their lineup. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, I can do this. I can do this. So I'm sitting there and like, you know, I'm first couple innings, nothing really happens. The pitcher, now the third inning happens. What they don't tell you is a pickoff from the pitcher is a lot more difficult than you think, right? So I'm sitting here like this. Especially the guys that throw absolute rockets yeah. over the first. Yeah. So I'm sitting here and I'm holding the guy on at first. I'm like, I'm ready to go. And the pitcher throws and it's one of the guys that has one of those like spin rate fastballs. He picks over and I'm like, whoa. Like almost dropped, almost like it almost it got almost missed it. And I get the ball back, I throw him, he looks at me, he's like, We're good? I'm like, no. Yeah, we're good. We're good. He picks over the next time he throws a little bit over, you because you have to cross your body with it. Ball goes out to the right field. I gotta go chase it. I go pick it up. I throw it in. I'm like, okay, okay. My bad. And this guy's the guy on the mound's like not happy with me. I'm like, all right. You should look good. Like, hey man, I'm good. I'm good. Don't let anybody so then, on base, dude. To the plate. To the plate. <laughs> I'm, in the, I'm on first. I'm getting off the bag. You ain't getting no outside. And the they hit a ball to my right. I take two steps to think I, I'm gonna get it. Like, oh, I don't need to get this. So then I go back to first, and I'm trying not. I'm trying to find the second baseman, not looking at the bag. So I can't find the bag at all. So I catch it. Still trying to find the bag. I'm not on the bag. The bag's in between both feet. The guy's running down. Thank God he jumps over my leg and he misses first base and he doesn't hammer hammer my ankle Tag. and he's out. Right? Because mm-hmm. it was my fault that he was out. I was blocking the bag. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, hey, dude, You're I'm playing sorry. Catcher. I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, hey, it was it was so bad. I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Apologize on the field. So, sorry, I got you out. So the first base coach, because I, I played in Tampa, so these guys know me, so he's laughing at me. I'm like, look, I'm working on this thing. The next guy is, um, for, I forget his name, Josh, uh, Josh Lowe, 24-year-old, like, they're one of their big prospects, center fielder, 6'4", 200 pounds, like, big dude. He does the same thing. Lefty, hits a ball, same thing, two steps, 
trying to find the bag. Can't find the bag. I'm all over the bag. <laughs> Catch the ball. He runs right into my back. Squares me up. He falls down. I'm standing up like a brick shit house. <laughs> he hits me right in the back. He falls down. He's out. And he's looking at me, and I'm like, and he like we kind of know each other from playing. I'm like, dude, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, their first baseman in between inning is giving me giving me tip pointers <laughs> on how to get to the bag and find the bag. And I'm like, oh my god. Then bases loaded, two outs. Or no, uh, second and third, one out. They hit a ball to my right. I field it, throw it in a little bit to the other side. Can't make the tag. I'm like, this is a nightmare of an inning. <laughs> so, you must keep finding so me. Night ball always finds you. Dude. Yeah, ugly finder. Me, this is, well, so first base is not easy. <laughs> no, <laughs> did, you, did you spend that night on Tobacco Row? Oh yeah. <laughs> I had a few whiskeys up top in the. In the I in need the, a couple of drinks. Yeah. Yeah. Another one. Another Thank God the, the hotel is right next. So we stayed at the Aloft yeah, right yeah, next yeah, door. Yeah. I'm like, hey, I'm a. Uh, I need to go drink this away. I'm not a first was not, a long day. This was not good. And so then... Top uh, day at the office right there. So then we go back a month later, and the manager, the AAA manager for Tampa, is talking to me. Because like I said, I know a lot of these guys over there. And he's like, hey, so have you played first since that time? I was like, no. no. I haven't played one more. He's why not? I was like, did you not see what happened? Are you there? Like, are you not there? I almost killed two of your players. Your top prospect almost died. And I got right? both out. All right. And then, he, then the guy would talk to me. He's like, man, maybe I think I need to lift a couple more weights. Like, I was like, yeah, you're running full speed, and I'm my back's to you, and you fell. So that's something about I you. Still, you need a bit more physical, yeah. son. 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 Grow up. Ever heard of STM football? Yeah. Grow up. <laughs> Grow up. I appreciate your effort. But, dude, it was so, so, so the whole point of the story was. First base is a little harder than people make it out. To Do you me. still have your mitt? Oh, I got a, a pack. Well, it's that's the other thing. My whole my whole closet is packed right now, ready to go. But I'm living out my suitcases right now because I'm, I was anticipating leaving and I haven't left. And my first baseman is in my baseball bag, ready to go. Like, hey, I'm willing to learn how. Is that the last thing you grabbed? You're like, no, no, no. Like, Look, I'm, Lord, will, I'm Lord willing. Help me. I am willing. <laughs> to this. I am willing to learn. Like, I can do it. I just need. Like, I didn't learn any of the footwork stuff. I was just catching ground balls. Like, give me some time to do it. I can do it. You know what I mean? But, Tom McManus, Fred McGriff, back to back to back, AAU, World National Tom Champions. McMan- it's Tommy Mansky. Mansky. Tommy Mansky. Fred McGriff, Crime Dog. Yeah, Crime Dog. Crime Dog. That's how about, boy. how about, <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say, I'm about to say, how about your story? Can't get that. Can't that's get into that. That's, all, that's an all-fair story. So Whoa. It really? It that's is definitely. awesome. Awesome. That's my boy. I wish y'all could hear this. We should get maybe we want to get a pre- paid Why? a paid prescription. Uh, maybe maybe we'll a pay subscription. One day and tell it, you know, not a pay that. subscription to the show when you get our community going. This is the bracket challenge. This is the bracket you challenge. This. You get the story. This story is next level. Give us like three words about it that you would get. You can't get in trouble. We know a little bit about it. Today. South Beach, Miami. Wow. Crime Super Bowl dog. weekend. Crime dog. Yeah. Super Bowl weekend. Snuffed it out. Yeah. Hotel. Motel. Holiday Inn. No. What? That's all. That's <laughs> all we're giving. Yeah. No. God, what a freaking Fred! What a freaking story that is. Okay, does he go by Crime Dog? Nah, but he'll 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 respond. Hey, you got the but Jay got it now, so Jay got the you good dog. You got the pass. Yeah, uh huh. He'll, he'll respond. To All right, we're gonna take on that note. We're gonna take a little bit of a break. We're gonna regroup. We went for an hour and Mr. five Meter minutes dog. straight Mr. Meter of talking. <laughs> We're going to get into, uh, when we come back on the other side of this, we're going to get into the bracket a little bit. We're going to mention the Will Wade stuff. Mitchell just got signed. Yeah, Mitchell Trubisky signed the Steelers. Well, I, I can't read the ticker behind me. <laughs> so it's a two-year deal with the Packers. And, 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 oh, oh, and the Browns. Oh! And the Ticker. Ticker. The Browns ticker. officially released Jarvis, too. Ticker. Hey, we got ticker. it. Hey. How do you think Mitchell Brissy's going to celebrate? We are getting Deshaun <laughs> yeah. Watson. The Saints. Hey, one of the Saints Pittsburgh are getting out of being out of that yes. is huge. Yes, that helps out a lot. That now is huge. Who, where do you want to go? Do you want to go to the Panthers? Huge. They don't really know what they're doing. They're, they're shopping Christian you McCaffrey. You don't want to go back home. He played there for three yeah. years. You don't want to go back there. You don't want to go there. And you, they're, shopping, they're shopping their best player? Or do you yeah. want to come to New Orleans where it doesn't matter how much we are over the salary cap? We have our best players signed. We're ready to go. Our defense is getting solid. Wide back. And we're getting a wide receiver Lots back. And Tyron Matthews coming. We're going to tailor this offense around you. Come on, baby. Let's go. And you have a great defense there. And you got a great defense. And Travis Landry. Future time. Mm, love that. Love that. All right. 
We're going to take a little bit of a break. Be back in a minute. You are listening to Mike Up, brought to you by Sterling Automotive. Hey, y'all, it's Mikey from Mike Up. Catch us live every Monday and Wednesday, 11 to 1. Talk gambling, talk sports, have a ton of guests in here, get a little perspective from the athlete side of it. We got Lloyd in the house, Jay Mitch is in here a lot of the time. It's a fun show, great show. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends. If you don't like it, it's fine. Make fun of us, it's okay. Just get us out there, show, share us out there. We having fun, we want to share our fun with you. Like I said, Mike Up, brought to you by Sterling Automotive. Every Monday through Wednesday, 11 to 1. Catch us live on YouTube, baby. See y'all. Hey y'all, it's Mikey from Mike Up. Catch us live every Monday and Wednesday, 11 to 1. Talk gambling, talk sports, have a ton of guests in here. Get a little perspective from the athlete side of it. We got Lloyd in the house, Jay Mitch is in here a lot of the time. It's a fun show, great show. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends. If you don't like it, it's fine. Make fun of us, it's okay. Just get us out there, show, share us out there. We having fun, we want to share our fun with you. Like I said, mic Up, brought to you by Sterling Automotive. Every Monday through Wednesday, 11 to 1. Catch us live on YouTube, baby. See y'all. Hey y'all, it's Mikey from Mike Up. Catch us live every Monday and Wednesday, 11 to 1. Talk gambling, talk sports, have a ton of guests in here. Get a little perspective from the athlete side of it. We got Lloyd in the house. The Journey Collada Show is brought to you by A Bears Lawn Maintenance. Commercial or residential, A Bears Lawn Maintenance is ready to work. A Bears can tackle all your homeowners association requirements. Call Blake at 225 485 8022. A Bears Lawn Maintenance. Welcome back to Mike Dog. Tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how, how mad are you? <laughs> from the get. How mad are you? That's what, that's if you're the ladies. guy who paid five hundred twenty thousand dollars. Oh, for that last touchdown ball from Tom Brady. And I got to give Tom a call if I'm that guy. Hey, I'm Tom, like, man, let me Tom's the job. Next, hey, the last like, one, please. I got I mean, you gotta like maybe. Give him something that's worth five hundred twenty thousand dollars when you're so, tired the next time, because that's imagine, tough. Imagine his wife. You spend five hundred thousand dollars on that, and then you hear that headline. Well, he thought, and he he thought that he was. Day. He <laughs> thought five twenty. Five twenty. This is a bargain. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna make money <laughs> yeah. off this later. Poor nope. guy. No, no, you ain't. No, you ain't. No, you ain't. That's, Tom's that's, a good sport about. Because remember when they threw the ball away? It was like when he broke yeah, some record. record. Yeah, the record. Yeah, the record. The record. It was a, yeah, the he's gonna be a good sport, but he's gonna find out about it and he's gonna compensate him. But what? Why? He's a good guy. Because Tom, Tom is a good guy, though. But it's not his fault that... It kind of is. No, it's you not. You retired. You fake retired. Chef you should have spent $520,000 buying a ball of mine. Scheffner should give him a ball. Mikey Matuk. You shouldn't spend that much money. That's a ridiculous. <laughs> You're very irresponsible. Yes, yeah, it's very... It's $520,000. This guy... If this guy's spending... The ball's not even really yours, either. Yeah. You really think about it. If this guy's <laughs> spending $520,000 on a football, he what doesn't need the money. What would your mother say? He doesn't need the money back. Your mom would make you make it right. Hey, you think that people are going to give $520,000 if you're making a bad investment in the stock market? It's different. It's it would, if they Why? lied to me about the stock market, yes. Why? Why? What if they said, oh, we're going to have this you deal? You sound like such an athlete right now. You need to check your tone. I am an athlete. I know. You need to be a human. I am a human. I'm a human athlete. <laughs> I am. 
if you have a deal, if I find, if I, if I, if they say it's a human in, input in an article written on the internet and says, hey, Apple is selling to X company. Okay, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna buy stock into that company because this came out. It's not insider trading if it's public knowledge. I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna buy that. And then something happens, the deal falls through, and they don't do it, and you lose all this money. You think they can pay your money back? This is a one-off transaction. It's a one-on-one. Boys, you got it wrong. It's all Scheffner's fault. It's Scheffner's fault. It is Scheffner's fault. fault. Scheffner should buy him. You know that Michigan helmet he always has in the background? Give him that. <laughs> Give him that and let Tom Brady sign it. It's Scheffner's yeah. fault. It is Scheffner's fault. Schefter, if Scheffner doesn't break the news, Tom stays retired. And Who the guy the hits the ball. Who the fuck does Schefter think he is? And let me ask this question. Because this, this, this may be a dumb question. I've always wondered stuff like this, though. Say, like that touchdown pass, right? Say there was a third down conversion in that same drive. And they switch the balls. How would you know? Is that is that third down conversion ball worth like two hundred thousand then? No, it has to be the ball, right? It's not his though. That, that the reason why I'm saying that it's not like it's his pads or his cleats or dog. No, they got thirty balls that they rotate in and out of the right. game. Same thing like a football, like a baseball game. Like say if you are going for your five hundred homer and you hit six foul balls in that same at bat. Like if the if the five hundred homer ball is worth. Five hundred thousand dollars is one of the foul balls worth a hundred? It's in that same at bat. He had to get to it. No, there's no significance. It's just the ball at that point. It. You don't use them anyway. No, it has to be the ball. The ball. That's what makes the difference. It's for that, the mantle. It's yeah, the mantle. That, that random chance is what makes the ball important. I, but that's my. I guess that's the other side of. That's, that's what I'm point. saying. Like it's not actually mine. Like I didn't do anything with it. Like, I'm, but you made history with it. History's not possible if I don't foul off the six, or if I don't have the third. So you want all of the history. baseballs? Huh? You want all of them? All no, of them. I'm just saying. I'm just throwing. How that's why do- I said this may be a dumb question, but I'm just saying, like, it is interesting. think about it. I wouldn't say dumb. How many baseballs do you think you go through? And <laughs> he thinks it's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> With this false throw, it's going to be a teacher. How many baseballs? A lot. They go through a lot of baseballs in a game. Because, especially in professional, <clears throat> it blows my mind to see college baseball, a ball gets picked out of the dirt, and, and they just, they just keep playing with it. I'm like, you're not asking to check the ball. You're not asking them to throw the ball out. Like, this ball is scuffed up. This ball is going to move all over the place. And then in the, in the big leagues, if the ball even maybe touches the dirt, umpire calls it, holds it, don't, sees don't, it. Umpire won't even back. let you throw it back. No. <laughs> like, well, stop I you. think it's because the umpire wants to play baseball so badly. Like, oh, my time. My, it's my turn to throw one. Mm-hmm. I believe that. But well, a lot of those umpires would give the ball to the catcher. Yeah. I know, just, but the ones that step out like two steps and are like, fucking A, dude. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what do they sound like? <laughs> fucking A, dude. Still got it. <laughs> I know it's your boss is getting loose. Still up. got it. <laughs> But, throwing lasers. <laughs> hey, Uncle they Rico. Some, hey, they have some umpires that have some bad throwing motions. Oh, yeah. God. They got the pads on. Pads? The shoulder, shoulder pads. You have, you're just flicking the wrist. You don't even use your shoulder, really. This guy got hurt, dude. He was all-time, oh two-time All-State. That rotator cuff. Wait, 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 wait tell me. I'll just go back player. to my question. Like, <laughs> like, if, like, if LeBron breaks, like, the all-time whatever in Lakers points? history. Yeah, points thing that, that he's close to, right? Do they go for the ball or do they go for the shoes that he wore? That headband, game? shoes. Okay, There's so no so, anymore. so then what's my so that's my point. They don't go for the ball that that actually broke. The, they go for the shoes that game. No, well, the ball would be the best because you put it on the mantle. They keep it's a basketball. They only use like one ball. Harvey Specter got all those balls in this thing and on suits. Have you seen suits? Harvey Specter. Yeah, I have seen suits. It's a great show. It what? Huh? It, it dips and then it comes back. How many have you seen it all? Lloyd's a tough, hey, he's a tough judge when it comes. To Lloyd shows. has. I don't know. If, I don't know if we're on the same page on like TV shows. TV shows and name your favorite. Entourage. Okay, we're on the same page. Oof, that's a great show. Yeah, Can't beat favorite if movie. I said I favorite seen movie. Fornication. Yeah, love it. Awesome. That's awesome. a great show too. Yeah. Favorite movie ever. Ooh, on the spot. Favorite movie ever is probably. I don't have a favorite. Yeah, movie. that's a hard one to say. Yeah, that's so loaded. Where's that loaded question? Life. Depends, like sports. Yeah. Life. Oh, oh, what am I thinking? Dumb and Dumber, Tommy Boy. Like, it's like one and two. Okay. They can, they can, they can go Life. back and forth. Like I was trying hey. to think of like a real hey. movie. You know what movie was on yesterday? With that like during the day that we we're watching, Allie's never seen it. Is next Friday? Oh, has wow. she seen Friday? She hasn't seen any of them. Oh, oh no! And you, so I mean, she only seen them when they're on TV. We're watching it, and uh, Mike Epps says, uh, she's God, like, I was, I was there and Pinkies right. are about to fight and you your stinky booty ass little boy. <laughs> and she <laughs> could not stop laughing. <laughs> 
And she could not stop laughing. Like she was like crying, and I'm laughing because she's laughing because she had never seen it. It's not. It's so much fun watching a movie that somebody's never seen that you know is funny. And she, because you know, Mike Epps says it, and he was like, when they're smoking weed and pinkies in the bag, you stinky booty ass little boy. And she just could not stop laughing. I'm like, man. Oh, that God. Perfect. That was funny. That was great. Friday is so good, though. It kind of yeah. makes next Friday not that good. Like, yeah, and then Friday after next, next it shouldn't have been yeah, way yeah. too far. Too much. Yeah. Um, all right, back to the sports show. I'll be quiet. <laughs> back to the sports show. My neck. <laughs> <laughs> it's a. It's a bas- it's a basketball week. Hey, today Parker. today is outside of free agency. Today is today I'm trying to get us back on track. Well, I, see deep. I shut the fuck up. Today is so kind of a light sports talking. day outside of free agency. You ain't got no job. <laughs> got shit to do. <laughs> oh man. Damn that so made a tease. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay. Take March Matt, the tournament starts on Thursday. Right, we've already talked a little bit about it. It's going to be a betting mecca. This room is going bracket. To be, this room is going to be popping. Sinden, got the call brackets. It right. Well, the, will we you bust bra- your cherry at the Sinden? Will, will you come visit? I've been here before. You've never watched a live game, really? Will you live bet? Like half of one. I know. No, I just got a lot will of you live bet with on. us? That's, I would love to live bet with y'all. That's a problem. You know why live bets? Beer? What? 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 Huh? Yeah. Food? What? what? But I LSU basketball is sixty. Years? They are. They are in the easiest. Easiest uh, region. They are. We talked it through earlier. There's a legitimate chance that they can make it to the Elite Eight. With the teams, they, they play Iowa State. That, I think that's a that's a win, okay. very winnable game. Then they have to play Wisconsin. Right? Wisconsin's got one star. Johnny Davis. We can stop a guy. Defensively, we can say, hey, you know what? Brandon Murray, you're going to go and you're going to lock this guy down. You're going to stop him. Or you're going to contain him. And we go ahead and win. People are worried about, oh, all this distraction with Will Wade. As an athlete, and you can attest to this, that does not matter. No. Once you get past it, once you get past that, those first couple days of the shock of, like, what's going on, and you get on the court, that is your safe haven, dude. That is, like, thank God we're back on the court, so the only thing we need to worry about is playing basketball. You know what's going to happen. There's no wondering about what's going to happen. You're going to go out there, and you're going to play. And, hey, you know what? These guys that are on the court, this is their last time probably going to play. Most of them, hopefully they don't all leave. But, you know, we'd be naive to think that these guys aren't going to try to look to transfer elsewhere, look to move, unless, unless we hire a, a coach pretty early and they can save them. But these guys are going to go out there and they're going to play their ass off because they're on national TV. They're playing in the tournament, and they're a 60 with winnable games. I think they, they beat Iowa State. I think they can beat Wisconsin. Then you go to the lead eight and you play Auburn, and that's a familiar team that you've been that you've played with. Now Auburn's really good, but it's a team that you can you're you're not worried about because you know them. There's a blueprint now to beat Auburn. There is a bl- blueprint to beat Auburn. So I think that now I'm not saying that they're going to, but I think that a Sweet Sixteen a Sweet Sixteen run is is doable. It's very doable, and I think that's going to be I think. That's the first time in a long time you can say, "Damn, LSU's in a, is a favorable in the favorable region." Usually, it's the opposite. They just got to be Iowa State. I really think they could beat Wisconsin. No, huh? you got to get to the first game. The first game is always the hardest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First game is always the hardest. One on the board is. And I do this every year. I look at it, I look at the bracket, and I'm like, I'm not going to be LSU biased. I'm not going to be LSU biased. I'm like, damn, they can beat this team. They can beat this team. And I'm biased to LSU, and I also my bracket gets busted too early because I try to do something stupid. And then I try to put my hang my hat on Gonzaga to win the whole damn thing, and they don't win it, Watch and they out. lose, and it screws me up because my best friend is a huge Gonzaga fan. And he's in my ear about how good Mark Few is and how good they are, and all these players, and they got the number one pick in the draft, all this stuff. They never win the national <laughs> they championship. They don't win the big one. They never do it. They got there. They don't do it. And I'm like, well, fuck. It's <laughs> Keep due. putting him in there. It's due. And Duke. I don't think has a chance. Fuck no, they're gonna lose the t- or they're gonna lose to Michigan State. <laughs> and def- you know who definitely doesn't have a chance. You know who definitely does not have a chance. Baylor. Screw Baylor. I hate Baylor so much. How did he get a one? They do not have a chance. They do not have a chance. Baylor's gonna. They may lose to a 16 seed. I hope they does lose. have a chance. <laughs> I'm gonna bet the 16 seed. I'm gonna bet money line on the 16 seed. You know, it does you have just a chance. You just chase Baylor all the way through this tournament. I'm gonna, and you know what's gonna happen? What's with I'm gonna hate. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna Lance Beal spite, spite bet the Bill shit out of Baylor, and they're gonna end up fucking making it all the way to the end. <laughs> as long as they don't cover, it's okay. As long as they don't cover, that's the spread pool. I got UCLA beating Baylor. 
UCLA, this is UCLA tournament time. They've been they've been injured all year. They're finally getting healthy. Johnny Juzang's getting ready to go. Vasquez has been dog. Yeah, they're gonna. This is this is this one, this one UCLA kind of made the run last year. Yeah. They got hot at the right time. But I love March Madness. When I think of March Madness, and this is this is this is a weird way to think about it. When I think about March Madness, there's three things because I think it's baseball is the real reason why I think about it. Because I'm always in spring training during this time. Yeah. I think of pub subs. Which is Publix. I go to the Publix after this field and I get pub subs all the time, which are awesome. You ever had a pub sub? So Publix has sandwiches in their dough. They're awesome. So I think March Madness, I think pub sub. I put the March Madness games on my TV and Thin Mints. <laughs> and Thin Mints. Because the, because the uh, Girl Scout cookie time. Because the Girl Scout cookies are always selling. <laughs> so I go to Publix. I get my pub sub. I walk out. I buy five boxes of cookies. And I go and I put them all in the freezer. And I'm sitting there mm. eating pub okay, sub, watching you. basketball, freezer. eating Thin Mints. I'm like, damn. This, this is, is great. All the Excellent. dopamine in the world. This is great. And then I get up in the morning, I do no, my yeah. and I do it all over <laughs> again. Blinking. And then you walk into the locker room, and all the games are on there, and you walk right up to the bracket of, like, the, the brackets that you put in, and one of the managers or the trainers or the clubbies is always doing it, keeps it up to date every day. So you're going through, and you're like, damn, I was 12th, now I'm 50th. And then you go back, and you go back the next day, damn, <laughs> third. And you're, the highs and lows of it, it's so much fun. I can't wait to do it. Again. There's two times in a year where, like, like during baseball, like where baseball players don't leave the TV, it's March Madness and the start of the NFL season, where mm-hmm. it's basically like, oh hey, we got BP in twenty minutes. <laughs> BP, coach, you got to cancel that. I ain't going. I ain't going. Hey, coach, the game starts at seven. What time you need to be out there? I'll be out there at six fifty-five. Yeah. I'll be. I'm stretching here today. <laughs> We're all good. Wait, college football doesn't do that. The same thing. As you said, the beginning of college football. You said at least well, NFL, NFL, college oh, football. NFL. Yeah, same thing. Football. Yeah, it's been a beginning of football probably season. More, probably more NFL simply because of fantasy, but like NFL right. and college football. Yeah. Right. And y'all football can, season. Y'all can, that's what brings me back to the, uh, here's my guy, uh, Calvin Ridley. Like, they clearly <laughs> bet on fantasy football. Like, you're in the locker room. Like, there's a little side wager, no big deal. Yeah, well, we're not betting on our sport. Yeah. Right, no, but they are in the NFL. They're allowed to bet on fantasy. They have fantasy football teams. They're bet. They're gambling in the locker room. Yeah. And now all of a sudden you can't just because yeah, I don't know. That's a, one guy gets laid up and realizes that betting is yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's contradictory, for sure. Yes. For sure. <sighs> I guess we have to hit on the Will Wade stuff. Fantasy is a little different, though. Like, there's no, like, you're not really Yeah, you're not, out, you're not, it's not, not betting on outcomes and spreads yeah. and stuff like that. It's a little different. It's a lot different. I get what you're saying, but it's a, yeah, it's a little You different. still have a rooting interest in the game that you... No doubt, you, but you're not, the game, the, the result of the game isn't yeah. going to affect you. The only thing you're that, telling me if you're a cornerback who has Alshon Jeffrey and he goes off and you're just like, mm, I hate to see that. Shut up, boy. Against you? <laughs> like against if you're a cornerback and you're and you're you're guarding No, the other guy, just a guy on your team, it's like mm. No. I know he stinks. He's not thinking that so way. So I'm gonna yeah. start he's not thinking, he's our not thinking that one way. is bad. He is not thinking no that way. You can't say that with What any, do you mean? Yes I can. It's not true. Way. It is true. No They're way. not thinking that way. <clears throat> You they don't why? think that you way know why? Because that that actual game check is a lot yeah, steeper than what exactly this, than what this. But, one it's already, but they're allowed to do it. But they it doesn't mean that they're, they're rooting for it. it. Yeah. Not rooting for it, but they might know like, mm, old boy has a bad ankle. No. Might you get think, torched. Even if even if the buy in on a fantasy twelve team fantasy league was ten thousand dollars a person, you think they're worried about that, or are they worried about their game check that's worth fifty k? I think they're worried about like maybe I can have my. No. Chips and eat the, sip, and eat the salsa, too. <laughs> no. Have cake and eat it, too. No. Negative. Not at all. Not at all. But. I'm just saying, watch the waiver wire pickups. If you know. That could be that could be the telltale. Like, <laughs> they, should, they should probably get a bag man. Like, well, wait. Like, well, wait. Exactly. Man. Don't do the transactions from your phone. Or your that's, wife. Uh, that's your a wife. sloppy. That's a sloppy situation right there. I mean, like. Are we talking about To have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! I try. I, I, we have to talk a little bit about it. I'm no, not making. Look, I'm, I'm not bashing the guy. I, I think Will Wade was a great coach. I think he was great for LSU. Yeah, I think yeah. he did. He had. Look, I mean, his his record at LSU was 105 and 51. By the way, did anyone did anyone see the the Sports Illustrator article that came out so with uh, Pat, Pat Forty? Pat Forty sitting in the corner, oh. uh, pleasuring himself because he's been waiting for this to come out for four years. I'm like, I'm like, bro, are you really gonna write this like? Missing oh, yeah. of a title? Oh yeah! Like really? Hey, he's had this. He's had this ready to and, go. And he's literally, for he's two literally years. like, like card cataloging like all these teams that we that LSU's beaten that may have that guys might have lost jobs. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, so you think that's never happened anywhere else? 
You think that no, the, the difference, the, the, the greasy difference, grifter Will Wade grifter. is finally gone. Grifter, the, the greasy grifter, and a humiliating fire. But here's the deal: this stuff that they're doing, they've been doing it everywhere for a long time. Right. The only difference is they did it a little I'm bit more got, I'm wondering professionally. I wonder if Pat's ever seen Blue Chips. Oh, the movie. He, he obviously hasn't seen that because that's it's only gotten worse since. I mean, Bill Self, Bill Self is doing it every year, and Bill like they don't want to talk shit about Bill Self. You think and I've talked about this is my example all the time? You think Zion Williamson said I'm not going to go to Kansas because they offered me a hundred thousand dollars, but I'm going to go to Duke for free? No, he did not. He went there, but the difference is they have burner phones, they have bag, six they channels have bag to men, go through, they have all these things that they can't get tracked back to old man Mike, Coach K, Bill Self. Whoever's running Whoever. that program, right? I'm not going to sit here and point out names, but, 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 but we're doing it, and you're taking it out of your own personal account. Hell yeah. With your own, te- which is, I respect the hell out of that. Hey, you're putting more, your money where your mouth is right now. You're saying, hey, you know what? I want to go. I want to, I want to win. Listen, <laughs> I want to win. I'm going to give you my own money, right? That's fine. Okay. But let's figure out a way to make it not look like it's your own money. Y'all want a PTC camera? Cash is yeah. king, bro. What are we doing? So you go get some money. What are we doing? Why are you? I mean, you're getting, bag. you're I mean, getting, you you're me? getting, you Meet are the getting. McDonald's lot. Like, what are we doing here? Do you think they're still going to the Cayman Allen tournament now that Will Wade's gone? Oh, you are getting. <laughs> you had to recoup all that money. You know, the money that hit in the, the offshore <laughs> no, accounts. The wire, yeah, the wire transfer. Yeah, you are getting, you are getting um, blackmailed basically by your starting point guard's girlfriend. She is getting, making you pay her more money. Teenage girl. Teenage girlfriend. She's going to give that money back? That's tough. I think that and listen, I, I like yeah. Will Wade. I, I thought Will Wade was going to get through this, but then apparently the the last parts of it, and like when once these text messages and stuff came out unredacted, like it's, you have to let it go. This, I think to me this is more of a cut the arm off to save the body type of situation. Where, and look, honestly, I was pleasantly surprised the football team only had one level one violation. Like, oh, yeah. when when they said they mixed football in there, I was like, oh, no, this is not going to be good for LSU. And then you see that there's eight level one violations and seven of them were to the basketball team and one of them was to the football team. Like, well, that surprised me, one, and was pleasantly surprised that the football team didn't have that many. And I wasn't surprised about the basketball, but I was surprised, as, I guess, as how loosely it was done. Oh and that is what ultimately did it in and... Before this situation happened, what would be one word you'd describe Will Wade with? What do you mean? Before the situation? Like, before we even knew about it in 17? Yeah, like, before... No, before it came out, how we got caught, how would you describe Will Wade? Because I would say smart. Calculated. Calculated. Yeah, yeah, right, right. And this, this does so not sloppy. seem calculated. Yeah, no, that's what's so shocking to me, is that the blueprint has been there for years as to not be the guy that takes the money out of your own account or your wife's account... And here's and the deal, is, with, with, uh, with the NIL stuff coming up, like with all the stuff happening, I'm hoping that the guy that they bring in can Basketball utilize that and be able to save something. Save some of the basketball for the next year, right? Like, if they go... Listen, we're naive to think that Scott Woodward has not anticipated this moment happening. Mm-hmm. He's got a list of candidates that he wants to go, and you know he's a big game hunter, so he's going to go out there and try to get a guy... To be maybe Coach K come. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Yeah, I don't Jackson. want that. I don't want that. But Phil happening. Jackson would be awesome. <laughs> right. But he, you're you're naive to think that he doesn't have that list already ready. So that once the tournament is over with, he goes ahead and hires this guy, and this guy comes in like, oh shit, this guy, and maybe he can re-recruit someone. But LSU Keep basketball stinks. All of it, everything around it. The only good thing that LSU basketball had oh, was Will Wade. But that's the, the thing, though. You if you go and you hire someone else, that's good. This is op- this is me being opt- as optimistic as I can be, right? And I'm not saying that it's going to happen. I think that it's it, there's going to, it's going to be another upward climb. But if you can go and you say, "All right, what? What are you thinking?" I'm just listening. He's listening. He's observing. I think that if you go ahead and you hire somebody that is solid and good name and somebody that you know that can go out there and recruit well, then you can possibly, hopefully, maybe. Save and make us competitive. That's it. Depends on the sanctions. Absolutely. This is the NCAA's that's, last that's, dying light. And that's, to and show that power. is depends on the sanctions. Yes, it depends on what the sanctions are. Go ahead. I don't know, dude. I'm just listening, man. I got I mean, what you got on this? 
I'd hate to sit here and like this was inevitable. No, no, I, I I hate the thought of like sitting inevitable. here and saying that like everyone in the sport is cheating because that I think you're you know they are no 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 I know but like it's a little much I like to say that and it, and it's it's a little much to say. Okay. But Creighton is cheating. Basketball is the shadiest recruiting of all but sports. Okay. All I'm saying is that with, with with what came out, you know, there's a lot of that going on everywhere. I'm just like, well, like. How are we this loose with it? There's loose no to follow. I like loose. There's no way. There's no way you were just that stupid. Like, did you really just think you were over it and no one were gonna look at it? Like, like how on earth were you that loose with it? I think he was too calculated. Where it's just like, I want no one to know about this. I can't have any help. This is me, me, me. Describe Will Wade. Passionate, obsessive, and that's what got him. He was too passionate. He was too obsessive. He took out his own money. He wanted to do it his own way. He didn't have any help. He didn't have no, any middlemen. And his own way and was working, but the problem is it doesn't work when you have it on wiretaps. And the problem, the whole thing about this is they got them on wiretaps by accident. He wasn't the one wiretapped. Arizona uh, guy was wiretapped. By proxy wiretap. Yeah. I said I was saying last night. Who so they're trying to find the stuff on the Arizona guy, and he got caught into it, and that's how this still thing Where started. Where is Sweaty Sean? Is he fired? Well, that's what I said. We should hire him as a middle finger to the NCAA and bring him in. No, I said we should hire Rick Patino. Rick Patino. I don't think. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that'd be sweet, but he's not. That's why we end up really throwing a hail mary. We bring in Rick. LSU Patino. was more attractive than I. I know, I know, but I don't know what he wants to do. With Gino's, he's not going to. Gino's is open all the time. We're not hiring. We're not hiring. Rick Pitino, Wilbur's not hiring Rick Pitino. No, that's like Sweet. that's like in the football coach just saying, "Oh, we're gonna hire, we're gonna go and hire Lane Kiffin." That's the same situation. Or who's uh, the, who's his, the other Louisville name? coach? The guy from uh, Ohio State too. Jim Trussell. Jim Trussell. Let's go ahead and bring him over here too. We, Urban, Urban Meyer. Meyer. No, no, no. Patino's seventy. How much longer do you want to coach? Huh? Patino's seventy. How much longer would you want to coach? As soon as he quits, he's dead. Nick Saban's seventy two. What's the matter? Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I mean. There's what a is lot. Of, there's a lot of, against Rick Pitino. There's a lot of that? good basketball coaches out there. You just gotta go hire. There's, we're gonna hire someone young. good after this. I'm hoping that I mean the sanctions are gonna be bad. That, that that's what makes it hard to the be. Sanctions able to, are gonna be bad because you're not gonna be able to hire a good head coach with the sanctions looming over your head. So you're gonna have looming. To, <laughs> they are <laughs> looming. looming, and so you're gonna have to get like at least at least in my mind there has to be like a stopgap coach that takes all of this on like a uh, who was the Ole Miss coach Parker. before Lane Kiffin. Matt Luke. Yep. He had to take all that shit on the chin because he knew I'm not the head coach, but I'm an old miss guy. He graduated from there. I'll be the stopgap during all these sanctions. And when you're ready to win, go get Lane Kiffin. LSU basketball is in the exact we need same a bowl situation. Catcher. Well, we're not we're gonna know more once they come out with, after the tournament's over. They're not gonna be out. good. No, no, but we're gonna know what direction they're gonna try to go in once they say, Okay, here's the sanctions. You are you have five less scholarships than you normally would have, or you have uh, two year postseason ban, whatever the sanctions they actually come up with after the after the NCAA tournament's over with, then we're gonna have a better idea of what direction they're gonna go. How Why do they think self imposed? They should have self imposed this year. No, no that's not gonna help. Guys. That's yeah. not gonna help. But that class is so good next year. That's they're not gonna gone. help. Regardless. They're gone. The class is gone. I would try and do whatever I can to it's lessen gone. the punishment. If there's, but if there's sanctions, no matter what, they're gone. These guys, the they class, committed the, to Will Wade. The class, of course, was, yeah, the yeah, class I mean, is gone. This guy, they're coming for one year. They're gone. Gone. Over. You have to go find guys that you have to find a guy that can be very that can develop the shit out of talent and go get some hidden gems because you ain't gonna get the five stars. Well, right that now. that was the funniest thing about like Tiger Drop. It's like who's the next guy? They're like, I want a young, hungry, motivated master recruiting coach. It's like, so you want Will Wade again? Because there's not many of those out I mean, there. There goes right. your IMG ties, Oak Hill, Bishop Gorman. There's other there's other guys that have ties. It's just you, they're not gonna want to come here. Bishop Sycamore. Bishop Sycamore. The sanctions aren't good. Um, I mean, it's worst case scenario. Worst case, but what was he thinking? <laughs> he wasn't thinking. He thought he was thinking, "I'm gonna get these guys in here, and we're gonna be awesome." And you know what happened? You know, the crazy thing about it is he would have gotten away with it if he wasn't caught on that wiretap. Strongest offer. That's the so true. That's thing. what that was the domino. Why did it take him so long? The NCAA. It seems like they had all of this information. Was it the 2020 that got leaked? That the 2020 thing got. That's what got him. Yeah. Because he came back in and said, "Hey, you can re- we're going to redo." He came to the LSU and said, "We're going to do our contract this way. If there's anything that comes out after this thing, kill me." Yeah. Well, it happened. Dead. Dead. Gone. See ya. Buried. He'll coach again, no doubt. How long? Los Angeles coach. Lakers with LeBron he's James. Gonna, they're probably going to give him sanctions though. Like he's not going to be able to. He'll get the not, show cause. Huh? He'll get show cause to where wherever he goes, his 
the penalties will loom over him as well. So if he gets a two year postseason restriction wherever he, he signs, can't, they can't, the team's can't go. Yes, wow, that's that school is shit, now right. Well, that's what the whole thing is. Like, yeah, I mean, they're not. They want to make it hard for him not to not. That's what happened to Bruce Pearl. That's the rules. Them's the breaks. He's gonna go on TV. No, he's gonna go to the NBA. Bruce Pearl, but Bruce Pearl still got hired at Auburn under those sanctions, right? Yeah, they wore him for two years and then said, "Hey, we got probably a top five." But here's the deal. But here's the deal. The same go, thing will happen to Will Wade. You go and hire the. You go hire a team will hire Will Wade who's not ready to make the postseason. Iona, and they will be because like. Those first two years, they're not supposed to make it. So those are the post two first year, the two bands. Then you're done. And he's yeah. gonna have five five stars come in and be like, "Oh, yes, yeah, well, Wade. Oh, now he's back. And I bet he has a bag, man. He's gonna have a new wife. Minimal man. Not really his wife. Crazy. All right. I would have done it. I was here to help. Will. We got we got curtain call coming up. We got what's for lunch coming up. Jay Mitch has the meeting. He has to get out of here and go to. He's leaving us. So we're gonna take another little t- thirty second break. And we will be back here to end the show, end the rest of your week, get you into... It's Monday. I mean, to get you going through the rest of the week. To, to jumpstart. To jumpstart your Final thoughts right of the day, Jim Mitch. Jeez. Um, on anything? anything. We got a chance. We're still in there. Deshaun Watson's still yes, on the table. Yes, that's my, that's my take. Is like Deshaun's still on the I think table. the Deshaun smoke's going to be hot. And I think we get Deshaun, I think we get Tyron, too. <laughs> and Jarvis? I don't know if we get Jarvis. Kick the can. Keep kicking that can. I don't know if we get Jarvis, but I think that if you get Deshaun, I think you get Tyron. That would be a huge move for Dennis Allen to be able to bring it. I mean, Sean Payton might come back. <sighs> would you Would you give the throne back if you're Dennis Allen? He's like, look, Deshaun wants to come here. Michael I mean, technically, Sean to- Payton's still under contract with the Saints. Right. Yeah. So. You can pull Brady. You should just come back. Wow. Just come back. Would you sacrifice Sean Payton for Michael Thomas? Do you think Sean Payton you... wants to be a GM? I don't think he wants to work that hard. I don't think he does. He is. He was de facto GM for the Saints. He pulled a lot of. I the think him and Lewis be, are best friends. I think but... he wants to be in the game or talking about the game. Yeah, I mean, I want to be talking about the game too. They're paying me 20, 20 million a year. <laughs> well, what else am I going to go? Yeah, with no you? doubt. <laughs> I mean, McVay got the twenty mil to go back coaching because they offered him twenty mil. To go to the booth. To go to the booth. And then they put the booth back together at ESPN. Hey. Finally. How long, do we get the, the numbers on Joe Buck? Jared? No, I don't know. If Troy Aikman is <laughs> if Troy Aikman's making 17 and a half, Joe Buck's got to be making 20. But they just want to be together because he doesn't want to rebuild a relationship. Yeah, that was a package deal. Right? No yeah. doubt. But Joe Buck should be getting more than Troy Aikman. Don't you agree? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah I mean, I think Troy Aikman's either big Five or years. shrinking a little bit in there. Sixty million for Joe Buck at ESPN. Whoa, twelve get, a year. That's it. Did they get sponsored by? Like that uh, math I just did. There? Did they get lost. sponsored by a whiskey company or something? Too? Tequila. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> Why you think he's boozing up there? No, they're sober as shit. Yeah, I think Troy Aikman's boozing. What do you oh mean? yeah, no, they, they're tequila boys. What do you, what do you mean? Think <laughs> they do? His face just gets progressively they better do. throughout. Yeah. Okay. okay. They yeah. do. Yeah. Sm- they I mean, do drink. Uh, smoke. They don't smoke. Maybe they smoke together. Well, right. Joe, Joe Buck was high on uh, Monday. The Manning cast. <clears throat> He's an edible guy. Cabo. He's an edible guy. Yeah. He got caught. T- not got caught. He took an edible. Didn't realize the potency of edibles. Ate half a brownie. Ate the whole brownie. Fell down the steps in Cabo, and drank Cabo. his Uber driver's Coca Cola. Because he was like, I just have to have something to drink. Yeah. <laughs> God, no, bad. Why is my mouth so dry? Right. Mm. I, and I'm Joe I must Buck. be dehydrated. It's the best Coke ever. ever. I must be dehydrated. This is no, Joe, that's what happens. Yeah, that's Mexican. what happens when you're high on edibles. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. So what happens. You get cotton mouth. That's what I've read. I wouldn't know. I've read that. All right, that's what they we're, say. we're gonna take a thirty-second break. Let's get out of here. You're listening. To, you're listening to Mike Up, brought to you by Sterling Automotive. We'll be right back to end the day. We got curtain call, and we got what's for lunch coming up. And we don't have any bets for you, sorry, because it's a slow sports day. But we're gonna have a ton of bets the rest of the week. See ya. Seven and one over the weekend. No big deal. Really. Okay, just get us out there, share us out there. We're having fun. We want to share our fun with you.
Like I said, Mike Dub brought to you by Sterling Automotive every Monday through Wednesday, 11 to 1. Catch us live on YouTube, baby. See y'all. Hey, y'all. It's Mikey from Mike Dub. Catch us live every Monday and Wednesday, 11 to 1. Talk gambling, talk sports, have a ton of guests in here, get a little perspective from the athlete side of it. We got Lloyd in the house, Jay Mitch is in here a lot of the time. It's a fun show, great show. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends. If you don't like it, it's fine. Make fun of us, it's okay. Just get us out there, show, share us out there. We having fun, we want to share our fun with you. Like I said, mic Up, brought to you by Sterling Automotive. Every Monday through Wednesday, 11 to 1. Catch us live on YouTube, baby. See y'all. Hey y'all, it's Mikey from Mike Up. Catch us live every Monday and Wednesday, 11 to 1. Talk gambling, talk sports, have a ton of guests in here. Get a little perspective from the athlete side of it. We got Lloyd in the house, Jay Mitch is in here a lot of the time. It's a fun show, great show. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends. If you don't like it, it's fine. Make fun of us, it's okay. Just get us out there, show, share us out there. We having fun, we want to share our fun with you. Like I said, Mike Up, brought to you by Sterling Automotive. Every Monday through Wednesday, 11 to 1. Catch us live on YouTube, baby. See y'all. Hey y'all, it's Mikey from Mike Up. Catch us live every Monday and Wednesday, 11 to 1. Talk gambling, talk sports, have a ton of guests in here. Get a little perspective from the athlete side of it. We got Lloyd in the house, Jay Mitch is in here a lot of the time. It's a fun show, great show. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends. If you don't like it, it's fine. Make fun of us, it's okay. Just get us out there, show, share us out there. We having fun, we want to share our fun with you. Like I said, Mike Up, brought to you by Sterling Automotive. Every Monday through Wednesday, 11 to 1. Catch us live on YouTube, baby. See y'all. Hey y'all, it's Mikey from Mike Up. Catch us live every Monday and Wednesday, 11 to 1. Talk gambling, talk sports, have a ton of guests in here. Get a little perspective from the athlete side of it. We got Lloyd in the house, Jay Mitch is in here a lot of the time. It's a fun show, great show. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends. If you don't like it, it's fine. Make fun of us, it's okay. Just get us out there, show, share us out there. We having fun, we want to share our fun with you. Like I said, Mike Up, brought to you by Sterling Automotive. Every Monday through Wednesday, 11 to 1. Catch us live on YouTube, baby. See y'all. Hey y'all, it's Mikey from Mike Up. Catch us live every Monday and Wednesday, 11 to 1. Talk gambling, talk sports, have a ton of guests in here. Get a little perspective from the athlete side of it. We got Lloyd in the house, Jay Mitch is in here. Welcome back to Mike Up. It is Monday. We are going to let you go a little early today. Bullshit. Have the, have the rest of the day, have the rest of the week. Uh, we got a uh, big weekend coming up in Baton Rouge. You have the, uh, what is it? St. Patrick's, St. Patrick's Day Parade. I've never been to one. I have a possibility of going to one. How have you never? I'm always playing. Uh, even in college, I guess, you probably had to Never had one, out. never got to go. So this may be, may be my first one. I'll be riding on a float with my friends if I am there. If I'm not there, I will be playing. So that's still in flux. That'll just lead. That'll lead me if to. If you are here, is Nelly a big enough draw for you to go to that concert? Because it is for me. I think it's uh, the whole group of people that are going to be there is a big enough draw. It's not just Nelly. How did they throw in? I know. Yeah, disrespect to Parish County Line, but what? You're out of place, brother. <laughs> they're good. I mean, they just they were at the get, Texas Club. Yeah, they're great. Saturday. They're great. You love the Texas Club, don't you? Uh, not really. Texas Club's <laughs> awesome. He has awesome. to go. They're just bringing a wide range of people there. It's I just fine. Want Lloyd to go. You know, it brings everybody. I know, but it's you like country, fresh. you like rap, you like I like Manny, Manny Fresh as well. Do you think they do over and over again? Probably. With so Nelly, a little country music. Who's that Nelly? Who's? Nelly, or uh, I mean, Uncle Earl's Nelly. Is Flo Rida there? Flo Rida, Flo Rida Manny <laughs> Fresh, and then they threw in Parish County Line. That's my. How much are tickets? Forty-five dollars. Oh fuck yeah, I'm buying that. Yep, yeah. I'm in there. I'm in there. But that's gonna bring us to find me in the corner if you need it. That's why I'm here. <laughs> so I'm not going because I'm playing. That's to bring me into my segue to my curtain call. My curtain call. I'm gonna give my curtain call to my boys in here and to my wife because this past weekend was real tough for me. And so my guy, the guys here were, were with me all, every step of the way. They're motivating me, pushing me. My wife has been pushing me, still pushing me. I uh, thought we had something going on. Free agency opened up. Ended up not working out. I'm still here. I'm still working to, to be gone. I'm still playing. I'm ready to go. I'm, my bags are packed. But at this moment, I am not, have not left. So I will be running the show in studio for as long as I'm here. We're going to continue to grow. We're going to continue to have fun. I'm going to start bringing more guests on this show to be able to give you a different dynamic and, and bring in, you know, different types of energies and different personalities so that we can have more fun. That was my... 
initial goal all along. I wanted to be able to do this, kind of build our voice, continue to grow. But uh, Curtin called the boys. Curtin called my, my wife for sticking with me, being tough, through, being tough minded and making me tough minded through this tough times. Y'all are going to be, y'all, y'all, as in my friends watching the show, will be uh, behind, have a behind the scenes look at to what goes on. Uh, baseball free agency is fickle, fickle, fickle. And it's crazy. It can, be, it can change at any given moment. Um, but y'all will be the first ones to know. I will have, you know, I'm, I'm transparent with everything that's going on. It's been tough. But, you know, that's life. And it happens to everybody. Uh, whether you're playing baseball or you're working or you're doing something else, you just got to take the punches as they come and roll with it. And things will happen, bro. If, if you, if you, Put positive stuff out there in, in the in the universe, and you keep doing the right things, and you keep working your ass off. Things are gonna come come uh, full circle, and they're gonna they're gonna manifest in good ways. So, that's my current call to y'all. So thank y'all. Yeah. You having Mikey back? A little jealous. Lloyd Lloyd secretly wanted me here. He didn't want me to get here. put a call in. Yeah, and actually, it wasn't very secret. It was very open. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. That's okay. Go ahead. What's your current call? You literally just told so me. You just had call. one, Pete. No. Kid, no, it's not Skeet. It's a little bit of Mikey. You literally just told me your no, it's just Oh, oh, oh. It's actually Darius Days. I thought oh, it was going to be the Texas State pitcher who did the horns down, which yeah. was phenomenal. But Darius Days seems to be the glue that's going to hold this LSU basketball run together. Yep. They're already depending on him a lot. He came back because of Will Wade. He was going to be the piece, but his leadership will be vital if mm. LSU is yeah. going to make a run. He's already called a team meeting. He is the guy that LSU is looking towards, so... Hats off to you, sir, because it's a That's very awful. difficult spot to it be is. in. It yeah, is. mini curtain call to Mikey. <laughs> yeah, it's New Year's. Ooh, is it yeah, like thing or snap, thing? Like yeah. I don't know if I like it, but it's okay. No, they used to do that in the union when, like, those weird kids would read plays. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, poems, yeah, you know, poems, yeah, poems. Poems. Never done that. Poems. Poems. Oh, but, it, but Mikey is a poet. I am the great... I'm trying, oh. I'm trying to get... I need to get him on here. We still don't have video We calls. might have to snap for the great <laughs> We still don't have video calls. But we're gonna. You're get looking it. at the wrong guy, pal. The beef oh, is no. over. Ray Allen, Paul Pierce, Kevin Garnett. They made up. That was we're beautiful. All, we're all friends now. They all made up. But That's good. Been, Much needed. The, see right there. The original, awesome, the original big, not the original big three, but like when the big three name, like the name yeah. of the big three became a thing. There's I've been seen big the original threes. big three. No, there's been big threes in in basketball history before. They just didn't call them the big, big three. three. Yeah. Who do you think? Whoever thought of that and coined the term had to get a raise. Everything's <laughs> been the big three ever big three since. since. After them, it was LeBron, D Wade, and Bosh. Chris Bosh. Mm. And not every, not everybody's got a big three. three. That's that was the what they this did. The what they did in Boston. Biased. What they this did the in Boston. This is the first big three. Uh, shut up, Jordan, Pippen, Robin. No, 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 no. But that, that this is the first. Oh, the first named big yeah. three. Yeah. Yes. But what yes. they did, what they did in Boston by calling it the big three, right. set right, the right, right, right. template for everybody else. Everybody That's else now everybody look at big teams. Everybody has three stars. They should have won three rings. KG Blues knee out. Shoulda, KG coulda, woulda, bro. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, bro. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Who? If if was the a Trey fifth, Kendrick Perkins. if if was a fifth, we'd all be drunk. Pendrick. <laughs> I'd be addicted. I'm taking that. <laughs> like you never heard that one before? No. If That's was a great. fifth, we'd all be drunk. <laughs> yes, hell yes. But the beef is over. Beef is Kevin over. Barnett used to hate right Did you really what? just cite Kendrick Perkins' injury as a reason the Celtics yes, he was didn't the win? Yes, anchor of that defense. Big Perk, big, big Perk. Awesome. It was even a big shift just from the uh, for Jeff Green. Are you kidding me? Seven, I'm talking about the 75th anniversary. Like him and Ray Allen didn't shake hands. Oh, they didn't even look at each other. And so, I mean, this is what uh, two weeks later, and they're all hugging. It Do you beautiful. believe that this? is Do you true? have a current call? I'll put you on the spot. I don't know if I asked you to get one. You don't uh, have to have one. You don't have to have one. It's okay. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I mean, I'm sure I can come up with something. That's okay. Okay. I'll just go with the Bengals front office. They're making their boom. They just signed another offensive line. Signed two offensive linemen in one day. So. Yeah. They're doing it. It's beautiful. This is the pr- this together. is what everybody predicted. Now, I mean, this is going to be interesting to see what they do in the draft. Now, if they go ahead and get all their offensive linemen because they draft late, do they go out and get another? They don't need another a, a, a defense. I'm talking on the defensive side. Super strong on the defensive side because they don't need all the offensive. They need some corners. They go get a Definitely. superstar corner. Corner would be the move. Um, but okay. another one named Dante Jackson, the Panthers said that they are letting him test free agency. Ooh. So if the Bengals want to stick with Bring the LSU. The Saints. The Saints Everyone's at the Saints. But Jarvis, Tyron, Jackson. What? Huh? What? Huh? What? Huh? what? Huh? Sign? Huh? Deal? Deliver? Huh? Oh, yeah. Yes? No? Yes? <laughs> yes? Um, okay. Nope. 
Yeah. That was our curtain calls. Yeah. Now we have. We can do that. Yeah. What? Yeah. Isn't the same thing as what? Yeah. What? Yeah. Yep. And so I'm telling you, you're trying to get with the same tenor. The dude? It needs to be our personality. Fun? Not their personality. What? 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 Just because they're really good so at what they cold. do doesn't mean that we copy. I know, but. What we're do not we... posers. No, we're not. You're right. You're right. There's other people out there that copy. We don't copy. We don't copy. We yeah. deliver. We do. I don't know if that works, but it's okay. If you okay. saw it on a slogan, like for a 30 second commercial, you wouldn't second guess it. We don't copy. We deliver. Boom. Commercial over. Lance Beal. <laughs> Spike that. <laughs> um, we will have, actually, we will have bets throughout the course of the, the day and the week. I, um, I actually was planning on having this, like this week off of trying to, figure out how to do this from the road and we're not on the road so we're here but I will have our bets from here on out we're going to get back into the gambling scene because March Madness is a gambling mecca 7-1 over the weekend you bet we problems. are 7-1 you have a guy on the side that we're going to start using yes. well, that's when your side guy went, went, fucking fit. your side guy went radio silent on you I don't like that maybe he's going to start charging you what bets did he send you throughout the week all the ones I hit I know but which ones oh, it's all college basketball yeah which no, is I just why wanted to know we can go through yeah. amongst yourselves. I said I sent the video into the. Group. Well, before we, before we do that, before we do that, because I'm starving and there's no, I'm not even asking y'all what y'all want for lunch. I already know what I want for lunch. So the what's for lunch is brought to you by Dozy Place. And what's for lunch today is Chiba Hut. I'm starving. I want a sandwich. I want to get the big dog sandwich from Chiba Hut. So that's what we're doing. That's for what's for lunch. Wait, do you realize who's here and who you have to pay for? The Golden Corral Killer. Hey, we're on the same. We're on the same. We're on the same boat. Oh, did no. you Same beat? Amount. Did you beat Mikey the other day? He destroyed him. Like... Yeah. It was, and but this was a not a flex at all. I felt very bad about myself. Actually, <laughs> I finished that sandwich that we had got from Inga's, and I looked up, and you were only halfway finished, and I was like, I tried, but I consciously tried. I, know, to I was stop. like, I have a problem. Like I, I have I, a problem. I, that's when I realized I need to slow down. <laughs> I have a then problem. Then the next day we had uh, what did we get? Burger Smith, and they both oh, had oh, chicken. Burger Smith. I love Burger Smith. They both Burger had Smith they slap. both had chicken sandwiches. What was my move? We did the watch party. I got yeah. the boys. Oh, did you? Take kind of, yeah. We, well, we were watching the stream. We go, God, we're so starving. Go, Katie's not here. Mikey's not here. And they looked at me. And I was like, <laughs> you're the next leader. <laughs> yeah. Look at the next, next leader. leader. Next <laughs> but man up. They both hadn't finished their sandwiches yet, and I had already smashed my double cheeseburger, and I was like, on a pretzel Double bun. cheeseburger, pretzel bun. Wow. Just no regard you know, for have you ever had? Uh, have you ever had <laughs> no curbside? Regard. Yes. So I good. love curbside burgers. Curbside brunch is fire. What's the brunch? The oh, the chicken. Chicken biscuits. Chicken. They got bacon, egg. They got. They're good. They're fire. Tater tots. Mm. It's good stuff. Um, you gonna read your bets or no? I have a Miami Duke bet out there. I have no idea I made. <laughs> it was a close game. What was it's the line? Still... Show me your bet. Read me your bets. Oh, it's an L. It's an L. Um, okay. Yeah, I'll read you my bets. I know you will. Over seventy-three LSU Arkansas cash that ticket. And that was second half bet because Noah and I were on it, and LSU was. Didn't look like they were going to win. It's mm-hmm. back-to-back buzzer beaters. They give up to Arkansas in the first half. And we were kind of like, mm, over. And then, so I'll win that. UConn, even though I wanted to spite bet against Jack. For because what? He was talking so much shit. What, the UConn? Yes. You took UConn? I did, and I said, I'm going to spite What did bet. I say? I said, <laughs> Here's my you are everything went, what you LSU fans think LSU basketball I went three. I went, And then you say we. Pick a side. I went two out of three. Make a devil. I went two <laughs> out of three upset money line picks. I went LSU money line, obviously lost. I went UConn money line, obviously lost. And then I went Providence minus three. They got their boat. They got boat raced. Oh, I went over one. three. You gotta, you gotta monitor Providence. You gotta see. You can't, you can't just bet They're gonna lose. blindly. They're gonna lose to South Dakota State. I've watched Providence multiple times. And I don't usually watch anybody in the Big East. That's I'll right. You hear that, Jack? Big East is dead. We don't need them. They are dead. Let's get Dan Hurley. I saw that post. <laughs> it was you. It wasn't me. It was you. <laughs> Okay. You lured me. I'm over your picks. I'm ready to order some. Missouri food. LSU winner over 133. UTEP versus Middle Tennessee. Middle Tennessee minus two and a half a winner. Eastern Washington versus Northern Colorado. Eastern Washington plus four and a half a winner. Utah State versus Colorado State. Utah State plus four winner. Sam Houston State versus Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon minus two and a half winner. Just you know, sometimes the boys. It well, works get your guy to send more picks. I want. Sometimes it, sometimes like... it works out. I, I know, I, but he's gone silent since. So I wonder. No, I like that. He got too hot. I know. Now he's probably feeling himself a little bit. Yeah, but yeah. as long as he sends picks in before okay. March Madness starts, we'll be good. All right, deal. Well, that's it. That's it for the show. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. 
We'll be back again on Wednesday, 11 to 1. We're going to do Fred Friday again. First SEC weekend. It'll Love be it. a little better than it it's was. Three, three, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to be there. I was supposed to be leaving. Um, but it was, thank, thank God I wasn't there because I would have not been in a good mood. <laughs> but we will have, we'll have Fresh Friday again. We're going to make that up for you. SEC weekend. First SEC weekend of the, week, of the season. And uh, But we will be back here Wednesday, 11 to 1 live. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. Uh, we are bracket challenge. Bracket we challenge, have the bracket yeah. challenge going on. The links will be on all of our social media pages. We have a. Sure. That was the. That was the. Uh, What's that? That? that was this. Excuse you. It's lower that intestine. That's what it was. <laughs> we have. Um, I Stop what I playing saying. with that. I forgot what I was gonna say. Tournament challenge. No, is that it wasn't just oh podcasts. We just on still just on Spotify. I don't know what the hell's going on. I sent Joe a twelve minute video of what. Apple Podcasts is asking for it, so it should be resolved. But how did, everyone else can get it. We can't get it. Well, life, them's the breaks. Life's hard. I told better. you that. I had that conversation earlier. Life, life is hard. Is. Uh, is hard. Like, subscribe. You've been listening to Watching Mic'd Up, brought to you by Sterling Automotive. We love you. See you on Wednesday. Love you, Sterling. Love you, Heineken. Love you, Lance. Love you, Will Wade. Boom. Love Fuck you, Baylor. Love you, Will Wade. Fuck Boom. Baylor. Boom. <laughs> love you, Will Wade. Come back. It doesn't have to pretend like it never happened. <laughs>